Yo, yo, what is going on, family? What is going on, man? We are back. Another stream, man. NLCS, Phillies Padres, man. It's going to be a good one. It's going to be a good one. Um, We got some superstars playing in this game. Uh, We got some real good uh, pitching that's going to be going on in this series. Uh, Bryce Harper, Juan Soto, Manny Machado, uh, Kyle Schwarber. A lot of guys, man. It's going to be star power, you know. Definitely looking forward to this matchup, man. Definitely appreciate y'all being here with me today. Uh, in LCS, man, it was uh, it's been a crazy ride for the Phillies, man. You know, with the uh, serious wild card series with the Cardinals, then you had the NLDS with the Braves knocking the division rivals off and defending world champions off. Um, Padres, they uh. They had a little adversity themselves. You know, they had to fight to get into the wild card. Um, not really. I forget who they played in the wild card, but they knocked off the Dodgers in the NLDS, which is big time for those guys. So they're definitely, you know, they're definitely hot. The Phillies are hot. So we'll see who uh, who can keep that streak going. Zach Willer. Zach Willer is our starting pitcher for the day. You Darvish is starting for uh, the Padres. Uh, they got a nice. They got they got three really good solid starters for the Padres. So we'll see how we uh we'll see how we work things out once Game Three comes around. But you know, first game, um, Zach Wheeler, you Darvish. I want to see if our bats can get going, man. I want to see what the game plan is. They're gonna you know try to you know ride them out, or they're gonna try to go ahead and uh, go at you Darvish early and get the bat swinging early. So. We'll see what happens, but um, once the game comes back, we'll go ahead and get into the game audio. Should be another five, another five minutes. I'll go ahead and get the scoreboards out. We do got background music now, so uh, you know, copyrighted background music that I'm paying for, so we'll be able to enjoy that during the stream, during commercial breaks. But uh, definitely should be a good stream. Definitely should be a good game. I'm looking forward, you know, just to the city having baseball back. Uh, playoff baseball. Uh, we was definitely on the we was on the stream. When was that? Thursday or Friday for Game Four, and uh, it was electric, man. You you could tell the city was was buzzing. I think it was Friday we was on the stream. City was definitely buzzing, you know, and definitely carried over to the Eagles game, which you know the, the Eagles pulled that off. The victory over over the Cowboys. They had a bunch of turnovers that game, so it's definitely a uh, the city's on fire right now. I think the, the Sixers are actually playing in Boston right now too. So uh, you know, it's a lot of it's a lot of it's a lot of stuff going on in the Philly, in the city of Philadelphia, in regards to sports. So we'll be uh, we'll be here for it. We'll be tuning into a lot of it. Definitely a lot of Sixers game. I'm definitely a little upset that you know the, the Phillies and the Sixers are both playing on the same day. But playoff baseball, man. You know, NL NLCS. I definitely couldn't skip this one. You know, but I'll be, you know, checking in on a uh, Sixers Celtics game periodically here and there, giving you guys uh, updates on that if you're not in tune to it already. But uh, yeah, let me go ahead and uh, get the scoreboard up before we start. Um, hit the like button, please. Hit the subscribe button. I would definitely appreciate it. Uh, let me go ahead and get everything in. Got that. 2022 National League Championship Series on FS1, presented by Lone Depot. Now we've got a perfect day for it here in San Diego. They got the rain out of the system during the Division Series, 82 degrees and light blue skies above. We go down to the field now. Here's Tom Verducci. I am with the most tenured San Diego Padre, Will Myers, eight years as a Padre. Your first LCS, the first for this franchise since 98. Tell me about this atmosphere and what this night means to you. I'll tell you what, uh, you know, being here for eight years, seeing this right here is unbelievable. The the energy the crowd brought in the NLDS was unbelievable, so hopefully we can continue that today. And tonight you give the ball to your most experienced starting pitcher, you Darvish. Tell me what you expect from him tonight in game one. Uh, He's been doing it all year. I expect the same thing. He's been our ace on the mound all year. And uh, he he lives for these games. He's going to go out there and give us a great effort. Hopefully we can play good defense and hit behind him. Well, thanks so much. Have fun. Thank you. Thank you. Now to Kent Rosenthal. 
Tom, Bryce Harper, and Manny Machado have been on parallel tracks from the time they were teenagers. They played together and roomed together with an 18 and under Team USA squad in 2009. Okay, they were I know the that. Top three picks in the 2010 draft. Harper going first to the Nationals, Machado third to the Orioles. They became stars with those teams in cities about 40 miles apart. And then after the 2018 Jeez, they got paid for real, too. 26. Harper signing with the Phillies for $330 million, Machado with the Padres for $300 million. So now, four years later, it is only fitting that their paths cross again in this NLCS. Two massive stars colliding on one of the game's biggest stages. Joe? All right, Kenny, and what well, promises to be two excellent environments. All right, here we go. First pitch coming up. For the middle games of this series. Phillies coming to bat. Let's take a look at their lineup from their manager, Rob Thompson. Kyle Schwarber leads off, then Reese Hoskins. JT Real Muto had an inside the park home run in the last game of the division series. There's Harper in the cleanup spot with Castellanos and Baum. Bryson Stott, a rookie shortstop at seven, then Gene Segura and Brandon Marsh, who's acquired at the deadline from the Angels. On the mound for the Padres, you Darvish, who's made three starts in the postseason so far and been excellent. Game one of the wild card round in New York. Seven innings. Oh, okay, he played the Mets. I forgot. That's a big one. I forget that. He's going five innings, giving up three runs. The move to 2-0. and oh. He has gone deep into games. 29 of his 32 starts this season. He's gone six or more innings. He's always pitched well against the Phillies, including a couple of starts this year. Six scoreless innings in May. Three runs over six innings in June, and the 36-year-old having one of his best years, taking the ball in game one of the championship series. Yeah, he's come a long way, and he has been outstanding. You know, all those numbers speak to it. He's going to be an interesting game plan because he throws a lot of strikes against a team that swings at a lot of first pitches. He has too many pitches for us to put down, but these are the majority of ones that he'll throw Jeez. upwards to a 10. They got like seven, eight pitches. And and what he I heard. It up, and he's always got a pitch to get a hitter out. That, that's his philosophy. And I think it's going to be interesting to see if the Phillies get away from their game plan of swinging. All right, here we the, go. First from pitch. The time they step in there, because if they do and Darvish makes the pitches, it'll be a long day for the Phillies. Now, Schwarber, the first man up there. As you, Darvish, gets ready to make his third start of the postseason. What he's going to do, Joe, he's going to throw a lot of sliders into the left-handers and then try to get fastballs late, two strikes and above. And so if he makes a mistake early against the Phillies, they'll make him pay. But if he gets to two strikes throughout the game, there are not many hits to be had off the Darvish with two strikes. This is one of those guys, John, that will attack your first pitch. Yep. He'll spin it a lot, though. He'll throw a lot of spinners. All right, here we go. First pitch. Command. Schorber climbs in. Darvish comes home. And off we go. With Low the inside. On a fastball. One and no. To Kyle Schorber. Led the National League with 46 home runs during the regular season. A rough go over to the postseason so far. Just one for 20. On a 1 0 pitch. Schwarber takes a nice pitch. His pitch, and that's the window. It's a nice pitch. That slider. It's small and one and one. He can shape it three different ways. And the curveball will have more of a north and south. This one kind of stays in the zone and then just hangs mm. in the inner part of the upper zone. Buckles a lot of left hand hitters. Here he comes with a one-one. Schwarber watches strikes. That's good. We've seen three. One and two. Uh, he he don't. He definitely don't strikes. So he's special in that regard because now we mentioned, you know, that the Darvis of the old had trouble throwing strikes. Now that's not the problem. Number one zone percentage in the majors, meaning he's in the strike zone at a higher rate than any other pitcher. Ah, uh, he skipped that one. Close, and that used to be one two of and two. things about him. He's always had that great stuff, but early in his career, he tended to nibble around the edges of the zone. Yeah, he did. It's an honor in his country where he used to pitch. And well documented, the 3 2 strikeouts like the highest compliment of the strikeout you can get. So, adjusting to American style baseball the first three years was not easy for him. Therefore, he threw a ton of pitches in five and six innings. It's 2 2. Skipped it's it again. Dirt. He's got himself three two counts here. He skipped it again. We saw a the third pitch that hit the dirt. It was a harder one. We saw a spiked curveball. And early Bruce on, Bruce Hoskins on that feel for those pitches. He has a great feel for all those pitches. You can't throw that many pitches and not have an athleticism and feel for the ball in your hand. Kyle Sorber leading off. Ah, inside. Nice. 
So walk for Schwarber begins things. Lead off walk. Bench. Runner on first, no outs. Lead off walk. That's love. He's at first. Last two teams in the field in the National League have taken down some big dogs. The 87 win Phillies beating the Cardinals in the wild card round, beating the reigning champion Braves in the division series. And the 89 win Padres beat the Mets all in New York in the wild card round and then beat the 111 right. win. Let's go, Reese. In four games. Get him over the second. That's all we need. For sure on the no pitch. double play. Hoskins, middle to middle end hitter, likes to hit the ball power to left field. If you make a mistake in, he'll make you pay, but he will expand the zone away on breaking balls, not hitting for a high average this year. First one from Darvish. It's a strike. Oh, why? That's a strike. Good pitch. And well, this very aggressive Phillies lineup. Seven pitches, no swings. And that's the way I would have approached him if you, you know, if you could give a pep talk to the offense and say, hey, make him show you he's going to spin those balls for strikes. Ooh. Because every once in a while, now he's overthrowing his fastball. Oh, way outside. One and one. And he knows that's the beauty of postseason. You watch all this video and you know everything the other guy's going to do and vice versa and who can execute and who can shock the system of the other side quicker like oh i didn't see that coming why is he doing this and you can have success is one one another one in the dirt yeah this one gets by nola shorter in the scoring position darvish all over the place so far. yeah darvish he ain't he ain't looking good that one got past the catcher how swarber advanced the second pitch a hitter can tell you what's coming but he's actually wow, pitch. that shoulder a little too low on the fastballs and you can see it come out of his hand, just not be square and have that late life that you used to seeing out of Darvish. All right, so count 2-1. On Runner on second. Boom or bust no outs. Of the year. Reese Hoskin at bat. JT Remuto on that. And we need a sacrifice right now. Good, good pitch. Good pitch. 2-2. Two, two. That's what Darvish can do. Anytime behind an account he wants to go to that slider, he throws it at about a 68 to 70 percent strike rate. And his ability to spin this ball looks like a ball coming out of the hand. See how the hitter just kind of buckles and he gets back on the count. On a 2-2, Hoskins with the first swing of the day from the Phillies. Pop up the center. In the right center field. Trent Grisham is there. All right, one out. One out, runner on second. JT Remuto coming up. The Padres have a distinct advantage in this series. That is defense. Trent Grisham makes that first play in center field. A gold lover in 2020. Left side of the infield, especially good. Manny Machado and Hassan Kim, who's graded out as one of the best defensive shortstops in baseball. Cronenworth and Myers on the right side. And Austin Nola, who they rave about as a leader of this pitching staff. Uh, Austin Nola. Nola. That's uh, Aaron Nola, brother. Gone in this first inning, and here is JT Real Muto. This is a little bit of strength on strength. JT's pretty good on the breaking ball and slider off the right handers. Let's go, JT. Ooh. Swats first one foul. Foul ball. You know, oh, one. If you go up there looking for a breaking ball, you're guaranteed to get one. But it's what do you do with it, right? It, and the problem with hitters will tell you is if I go up there to sit on a breaking ball and I know a high percentage of sliders are coming, I'm more apt to swing at a bad one. Because I'm looking for it, and as soon as I see the spin, I go after it. You got to be really disciplined to look for a breaking ball and only hit it in the zone. Jorbert second, one gone. Here's an 0 1. Takes it down and away. One ball, one strike. And, you know, most hitters will tell you, I don't want to get beat with the fastball, so I'm always on the fastball, adjust to the breaking ball. Well, no, guys in the same area with those pitches, they have good luck. Right, hitting with the fastball. We haven't seen him hit with the fastball yet to really set up these other breaking balls. And when he does, he's doubly tough. Here's his one one. In on him, cracks ground the shortstop. Out at first. All right, runner advances to third. Two outs, runner on third. Bryce Harper up. Yeah, I think we all have. A first pitch fastball earlier in the matchup, he deposited for a home. We all know Bryce Harper swings pitching. at every first pitch. Damn near. 
sometimes carries over into the future and see how they attack them. All right, let's see what Bryce can do for us, man. This year has been defined more by the injuries, but lately he's looked like that. He batting 435 in the playoffs. Three home runs. Six RBIs. Two out. Runner on third. On the first pitch. Yeah, most aggressive guy first pitch in baseball this year. Let's see. Ooh, inside. One and oh. You know what we the noticed take, we did the take. series? We noticed that the first swings and misses were a lot of them. He he came out of his shoes, but then he adjusted off of that and made contact, went the other way, and really got hot against the Atlanta Braves. Trying to get the Phillies on the board here in the first inning on a 1 0 pitch. Ooh. He Damn, he smashed that. Foul ball, 1 1. On Sunday, and he's getting to do something first time in his career something he's always talked about wanting to do and that is play baseball past his birthday prior to this season he had never won a postseason series and now game one of the championship series runner at third two gone Ooh. Make it back there. Ball two. i thought he got it he's two one experience on his pitches is pretty severe he can throw a 70 mile an hour curveball and a 97 mile an hour fastball and see the thing pop out of his hand that comes down late almost catches the strike zone i think with harper if he gets the two strikes he's got to climb the ladder with the fastball but two one strikes might be hard two outs runner on third darvish is two one harper Ooh. Ooh. over the top and it's two and two Let's see if he climbs the ladder right away. The Braves had some success up in the strike zone above the belt. The fastball not catching up. Now that is New Darvish's way of finishing guys off, which is backwards in that way. Two outs. Count is 2-2, two, two, runner one third. Two pitch. Two, two pitch. Ah, damn. Good defense. Good defense. Damn good defense. I thought he smacked it past the second baseman, man. He snatched that one. That's good defense. He dove for that one. Great defense. Hey. Hey, listen, I can't even be mad at that one, man. That was great. That was great defense. Great defense by the Padres, man. So left a runner on third. That's all right. We uh we made you Darvish work, so you can't be mad at that. So, coming back for commercial break, it'll be bottom of the first. It'll be the bottom of the first inning. Score zero zero. Let's see who uh, the Padres got coming up. So leading off for the Padres is uh, Jerickson, Crofer, Crawford. Uh, what is he? Left field. Then we got Juan Soto, right field. And we got Manny Machado, third base. So first, second, and third up for the Padres. Bottom of the second. Once we come back from the uh, commercial break. You Darvish don't look good right now. I'll tell you that. He definitely looks shaky. I don't know if it's pressure or he's uncomfortable. I don't know what it is, but especially when, he, uh, when Kyle Schwarber was uh, at bat. I think he had like four pitches that hit the daggone dirt. And then another one, wild pitch, that actually got uh, Kyle from first to second. So. Let's keep an eye on that. Keep an eye on that. Depending on how he looks, come third, fourth inning, they may start warming somebody up to pull him. I think his pitch count is about uh, 18 right now. 18, 19, that first inning. Oh. Leads off back to back superstars in Soto and Machado. Josh Bell bats fourth, then Jake Cronenworth and Will Myers. Hassan Kim, the shortstop. It was crazy. 
Like this team is stacked, man, and they still missing. They still missing. Uh, what's, what's my man name? Fernando Tatis Jr. with the suspension. Really good. They really have been good, and he can make an argument that that ERA would have been zero at a play been made. But they're here, and he wants to take the Phillies as far as their starting rotation can. Yeah, and Reese Hoskins screwed, screwed him on that one. Pitch mix, a strike thrower. They screwed him. Hard, effortless. He can throw the ball. Reese had to make that play, man. Left-handers, and he's got a curveball as well as you saw his change. First pitch. In in, oh. takes ball one. That's how. One and zero. For a lot of this season, has done enough. And that was the case again in the clinching game on Saturday against the Dodgers, a five-run seventh inning. It was started by a walk from this guy. Profar. Ooh. Like foul and it's oh. one and one. That, did well, that hit him? The difference between the two style of pitches no, is going to be pretty obvious. One pitch out of the windup. Darvis oh, was that a strike or a ball? Of where they release the ball is going to be pretty different, too. I'm not even sure the damn count right now. Wheeler's about as good as it gets getting downhill extension. So the hitter, what did they call to see the ball? And that's why that 98 97 looks even harder. I don't know what the second pitch was. It almost at seven feet. Fastball is by him, and it's one and two. Okay, and he's just got great extension. They did call that a strike. One and two. Follow that with any kind of breaking ball. He can go to both sides of the plate, which is a luxury that not a lot of pitchers have today. And he gets down on that front leg. Looks effortless. Oh, kind of the classic. Low and outside, two and two. He gets those long limbs going right. Good luck. That's exactly right. The timing of him is very important because his elbows, you'll see his elbows more than you'll see his hand till the end. The way the ball comes out of the glove, you see his elbows right now, and then here it comes. Ooh, foul ball. Two, two. The good and bad about that is when the timing isn't right, the command is affected because the hand's got to come out and be in a throwing position that when the foot hits the ground, his landing foot, you want all that timing working together. And as you can see, that time off really helped them in the postseason. His velocity just keeps climbing. Fires another 2-2. It's a breaking ball. Pulled the second for Gene Segura. And all right, one out. First out. Well, no, good pitches, Zach. Good pitcher. We take that. This won't happen next next year, but they don't care about next year. The shift in the deep second base play right there on the in between hop on the grass. That's not that easy, and it's a huge start to the Padres because that easily would have been a run, of course, for the Phillies. One guard in this first inning, and one of the top players in baseball coming to the plate in Juan Soto, who is not. Damn, Juan Soto. Hitting just 236, but well, you face him as a pitcher, John, I would imagine Ooh. none of that matters. One and no. No, it doesn't. Um, you know, the problem with him, even when he's not clicking, he'll take his walks. And so if you're taking on the San Diego Padres as the Phillies pitching staff, you circle two guys. Sixers up, 34-30, second quarter. Guy on deck. Outside. Goodness and gracious, man. 2-0. Come what on, you Zach. Say to yourself is, you can't be scared of this, man. Solo home runs. That's the theory of the postseason. Solo home runs will not beat me. I can't have traffic on the bases for Machado and Soto if we're going to win this series. On a 2-0 pitch. That's high. 3-0. Come on, Zach. Goodness Juan gracious. Soto, the centerpiece of arguably the biggest trade this sport has ever seen. August 2nd, A.J. Preller in this front office. Going for it, getting Soto, getting Josh Bell, trading away six players, including several top prospects, looking for their first championship. <laughs> on a 3 0 from Zach Wheeler. Oh, come on, Zach. Four damn balls. You know, we talked about how the Phillies were on the track. I'm out. Was that on purpose? And it is similar. Like, do y'all think that was for, on purpose? Last year. Goodness gracious. All right, Manny Machado at bat. Runner on first, one out. And this guy here, John, for a lot of the season, put this team on his back. When coming into the year, it's supposed to be a two star show, right? It's Machado and it's Tatis, but it's Tatis. Winds up not playing a game. This guy, for a lot of the year, has carried him. Yeah, he sure has. He's got the equivalent of the Wheeler long delivery. This guy's got a long swing in the strike zone. Majestic kind of looks like it's it's like he's playing in slow motion. The ball jumps off his bat when he gets the ball in the zone where he likes it. 
Loves the first pitch, goes after it, comes nice. up empty. 99 past him, 01. He threw some heat past him. He can get away with a couple of those with Machado, but he's going to have to be effective away. Throw in for effect, but throw your slider cutter on the outside part of the plate and see if you can get Machado to reach, maybe pull a ball on the ground for a double player to swing and miss. Uh, outside. One and one. One out. Why don't we first? And Machado in the fourth year of that ten-year contract. Unofficial captain of this Padres squad. One-one from Wheeler. Foul ball. One-two. He says this year he's gotten back to playing the game like when he was a kid, just having fun, coming to the park, not thinking about numbers, not thinking about pressure, truly playing. And he's gotten off to good starts. And I mean, he had, a lot of his home runs are in the first three innings and against starting pitching. So he's he's coming out with a bang over the last two years in that department. One two pitch. Trying to set the tone early here. One two from Wheeler. Foul ball. Foul. Still one and two. Fourth in batting average, third in on-base plus slugging, right in the center of the MVP conversation. Good race in the National League. The thing that Machado has in his favor is that a lot of the other candidates had another candidate on their team. Yeah, they added Soto over the last two months, but for a lot of the year, this was a one-man show offensively. Yeah, and that's when you're attacking a lineup like that. That even speaks more volumes to the year he's had because he doesn't have that supporting actor, you know, that wins the Emmy, that helps you get to that point. Soto at first, one gone. Wheeler home with a one-two. Ball two. Low. Two and two. That one started too low. No one outside. Breaking ball in the, uh, I don't know, knee area of the outside part of the plate. That's where Machado goes after it. But that ball came out of his hand low enough to where Machado spotted it right away and could stay off that pitch. Rob Thompson, interim tag removed. Day before the division series. 2-2 two -two two -two Machado is lifted in the air down the right field line. Oh, foul ball. Still 2-2. Two -two. They making Zach work, man. He already up to 16 pitches. I mean, this time of night and even later because we're playing earlier than they do at night. Ball doesn't travel very well here. It's going to travel tomorrow. I can guarantee you that. 89? Yeah. <laughs> Ball's going to be jumping. It'll be a good hitter's game tomorrow. It'll be a little bit better here because of the start time. The 137 first pitch tomorrow. It was 137 uh, West Coast time. He's another 2 2 from Wheeler. Machado pulls it down the line. Foul. Goodness, another foul ball. Okay, so he got away with that pitch because that's where Machado likes Still it. Still 2 2. Gone higher, one out, one on first. Part of the strike zone. So once he established him there and he got him to pull it foul, watch where the pitch is. He stays on that ball and tries to ride it in. Okay, and he pulls it foul. This would be, again, if he wanted to, a classic time to go breaking ball off the middle of the plate and let it catch the outside part of the plate because they've thrown a lot of fastballs here and he's fouled them off. On the eighth pitch, Machado. Goodness, Machado. good take, man. And again, he would have got three, two. He starts that ball higher. He swings at it 100 percent. Three, two. He wanted to go after it and check the swing. One out, runner on first. Again on a three two pitch. It starts that got to get out this damn inning, man. Chance. And even that, Machado wanted to go after. So that tells you all you need to know if you're reading the body language or in the bat of the hitter. If he throws a quality slider right here, three two, he will get him to swing it. So at first, one gone, three two from Zach Wheeler to Manny Machado. Fastball. Damn, fastball. Pop up the, uh, pop, up the pop up the left. Two outs. 
All right. Finally got him out, man. Damn. Zach Willer's already at 19 pitches. One more out to go. Fernando Tatis Jr. We're talking about one of the superstars in baseball. Does not play this year. Manny Machado carries him with an MVP caliber season. Gets some help at the deadline. Juan Soto comes over with Josh Bell. Josh Hader has started looking like the old Josh Hader again lately. They get into the postseason, an underdog against the Mets. All three games in the wild card round in New York. They win that series. And then against the Dodgers team that dominated them during the regular season. They take three of four and advance to the championship series. Josh Bell. Strike one from Wheeler. Oh, uh, man. So Bell is the Low in inside corner. Strike three. one. He was oh, one. Two year, outs. Runner on first. 300, but just 192 with the Padres. And similar numbers so far in the postseason. He's done a pretty good job along with the rest of his team and not chasing too many pitches outside the zone. Inside. He got the call there, one on one. And that's rare. That was the same spot as the like first pitch. To be able to stay within himself. How are you going to call that one a ball? And try to get the pitcher in that box. One one. Tremendous take. He either was fooled or it was a tremendous take. Yeah. Pitch. The Padres only have one guy in the lineup tonight that is more aggressive than your average hitter. That's Machado. Most of these guys very patient. Ooh. There's the first swing from Bell. Foul ball. It's one and two. First chance in the postseason for Bell, who spent most of his career with the Pittsburgh Pirates. A lot of losing seasons there. Part of a rebuild. Then he gets traded to the Nationals, and he's like, okay, I'm with the reigning world champ now. Well... They tore it down midway through his first season there. Part of another trade this year and getting his first chance in the postseason. One two uh, pitch. One two from Wheeler. Bell Ooh. It foul. foul ball. Still one two. Bell will do is he'll hit a lot of ground balls for a big guy, especially if you throw him a changeup. Zach Wheeler, twenty three pitches in already. Fastball as far as he possibly can, and of course Wheeler's trying to do the opposite, get the ball down to the big slugger. A lot of pitches in this first inning for Wheeler. Another one, two. Is in the dirt. They checked the third, and Bell went around. Oh, he swung. So Struck him out. Couldn't check his swing. Inning, All right, so not too, not a, not you know, not nothing too crazy in that uh, in that inning. Uh, Zach Wheeler is already is already at uh, twenty four pitches so far. So that's, that's kind of high. Not that high, so first you break going into the top of the second inning. Score tied zero zero. Um five, six, and seven. Five, six, and seven is up for the Phillies. Nick Castellanos, Alec Bohm, Bryce and Scott. Once we come back. Let's uh, let's while you wait, let's check on this Sixers game. See what's going on here. So right now it's 45-43, Sixers over the Celtics. Six minutes left in the second quarter. Uh, right now box score. Uh, damn, James Harden got 19 points. Tobias Harris got 11. Joel Embiid got five. Maxi got seven. P.J. Tucker nothing. All right, off the bench, uh, De'Aaron, De'Andre Melton got two points, and Daniel House got a got a got a point. Uh, Jalen Brown got ten points. Jason Tatum got ten points. Marcus Smart got six points. They, they got they got some production off the bench. I think uh, Greg Williams got five points. Michael Brogdon got eight points. 
I don't know these other guys. I'm not even try to butcher their names. It looks like it's a good game though. Might be able to catch some of that uh some of that Warriors Lakers game a little later on today. He comes on at 10. Philly, this game might be done. 11, 11, 30. Might be to catch the second half. Oh, here we go. So is your chance to win 10 grand of Big Poppy's money by simply playing Fox Bet Super 6. Just download the free Super 6 app on your phone and enter six picks in today's NLCS contest for a free chance to win 10 grand. On to the second, no score. Nick Castellanos. Let's go, Nick. Hugh Darvish. Most aggressive of this aggressive bunch. And a good breaking pitch from Darvish for strike one. Good pitch. Oh, why? A lot of that out of the San Diego Padres attacking. Nick, Nick Castellanos, 217 in the postseason. Five RBIs. Two strikes. Ain't too shabby. He definitely came through enjoying a clean slate here in that Braves series. After a rough yeah, season, foul ball, 0 2. He's had a five year contract and not close to what he had done in Cincinnati when he hit 34 home runs last year, was an all star. Uh, trying to put all that to rest. With the regular season struggles to rest. Right, a new story here in the postseason. Some good moments in that division series. Yeah, he, he, he damn sure did. In an 0-2 hole. Uh, got him swinging. Damn. Three pitch strikeout. One out. I like Boehm up. Wow, well, this approach. Stayed on the ball to look to go the other way against a breaking ball, and he was pulling off those pitches pretty, pretty badly to see if he makes an in-game adjustment for the next time he comes to the plate against Darvish. And you, Darvish, John, is one of those guys where if you have a weakness like that, he's gonna know about it. Watch a lot of it. All right, Alec Bohm up. That's the best way to find out. Alec Bohm. Foul ball. And you know the, the beauty of the way that Darvish pitches now. Alec is Baum is batting 200 in yeah, the postseason. He saw his fastball overthrown a little bit in the first inning, didn't command it, but he commands his secondary pitches so good. He came up with some clutch, uh, with some clutch hits that in that Brave series. And you sort of never know what you're going to get if you're a hitter. Uh, you may see him a couple times in one season, and he might attack you completely differently. Yep. From one game batting to the 200, next. three RBIs. The you know, take. We talked about one and one. The day and age of getting through the lineup three times is pretty much done because that's what analytics tells you. You know, can't get the pitcher through. And the reason is because most of the pitchers that pitch today show the hitter everything they have and they full bore the first two times. So you really don't have any way of getting them out for the third time when you've showed them everything. Uh, good pitch. Got him so swinging. One and two. He gets tougher. As he stays in the game, 25 pitches in to you, Darvish, so far. For starting pitchers, pitching six plus innings and two runs or less. Yeah, the only guy in baseball that averaged deeper outings this season than you, Darvish, was the guy that's probably going to win Cy Young and Sandy Alcantara. Darvish, six and two thirds per outing. His one two to Alec Ball. Ah, uh, good take. Two and two. Good take. And again, if you're sitting at home going, how can a guy keep throwing that pitch and the hitter keeps swinging at it? Well, he shapes it differently. He changes the speed. If I throw a slider across the plate and the hitter takes it because it's firm, then I'm going to sweep the slider or Darvish is going to sweep the slider and create more break so that it's over the plate and entices you to swing the ball, swing the bat. 2-2. Two -two. Foul ball. One seam. Still 2-2. Two two two. Four seam. A cutter. A couple sliders. A couple curves. A couple splitters. You put it all together. And 11 total. Yeah, they can't. I mean, they can't really do pitch comp, right? Uh-oh. Some blood on the knee. Yeah, he bleeding already. He's had the bloody sock game. He had the bloody pant game. Coming here from you, Darvish. On a 2-2 two -two again. Jam him inside. I think foul ball. Catches, I'm just guessing here, but I think he catches his knee with his spike sometimes on foot. The way he the way he throws it. Two two. He doesn't drive. Watch how close his foot comes when he gets right there. So sometimes you might catch 
piece of your leg when you're not trying to because he has that double hesitation. Yeah. Mm. That's news to me. 36-year-old in his 17th year as a pro. Fires 2-2. In the dirt. Full count. Japan. He came to the majors, Texas Rangers, to the Dodgers, to the Cubs. Padres got him in the Racing trade. Scott on that. Prior to last year. And it comes pretty close. <laughs> Yeah, he slowed him up the entire time. Does he go 3-2 fastball here, or does he stay with the breaking ball? Bohm has been a lot better against fastballs this year. Maybe he went with the breaking ball. Yeah, and it's foul. And so normally, let's just say it was a traditional. Still full ball. count. At this point, the One out. The advantage. Right. Because he's seen the shape of it. Bryson Scott There's on deck. shapes of Darvish to make that a blanket statement for him. Now, every one of these pitches, I believe, has been a breaking ball. And so... He's been able to kind of make him move his eyes with his different shapes and different speeds. Guy's been called a mad scientist with a baseball. Deals Three two pitch. Two. Ah, got him. Got him looking. Second strikeout. Damn, that was a good pitch. Got him looking. So far, two batters, all breaking balls, all forms of something other than a fastball. And this one starts in and catches the inside part of the strike zone. Called a front door breaking ball. That's not exactly where he was trying to throw it, but the beauty of it is he gets a better result. And he really enjoys this stuff, you Darvish does, watching a guy throw a breaking pitch, trying to emulate it. And he's got an uncanny ability to do so. It's a strike on Bryce. It's not no strike, man. That's 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 definitely not. That's outside the plate. version is a carbon copy of Zach. Oh, one. Arizona Diamondbacks. Two out. Starting pitcher at a great year at a 45 inning score. Let's go, Scott. But Gallon. Foul ball. 0 and 2. Against the Padres. One started in September. Darvish. Scott is batting 133 in the postseason. He got to get that up. Darvish takes the ball, and he's throwing a carbon copy of it. Almost identical spin when you put it through, and all the math through it. Take a look at the spin rate, the break. And he had his Zach Gallon curve. Well, if he looked at that card, it should scream fastball right here up. That's where the target is set. He missed his spot, and Stott hit it down the line. Pop that's up the left field. There. That's it. That's One, two, three. For the mad scientist, Hugh Darvish. All right, so that's it, man. Phillies couldn't get on base that uh, that inning. Commercial break. Once we come back, it'll be uh, bottom of the second inning. Score still tied, 0-0. Zero, zero. All right, so for the Padres, we got five, six, and seven up for the Padres. Let's see here. Jake Cronenworth. There you go. Jake Cronenworth batting fifth. Will Myers batting six. And uh, which one is joint? Batting seventh is Ha Song Kim. Hope I didn't butcher that. He's playing shortstop. Yep. Five, six, and seven is up for the Padres when we come back.
All right, here we back. Bottom of the second. Back here at Petco Park, no scores. We go to the bottom of the second, and Zach Wheeler goes back to work. Yeah, both pitchers, a little rusty, a little juiced up, a little uh, excited about the first inning. Darvis made a nice second inning adjustment. See if uh, Wheeler does the same for the Phillies. A lot of four-seam fastballs in the first inning, the most he's thrown all year. Jake Cornworth takes strike one. All right, Zach, strike one. To, okay, oh, one. Fastball, let me throw some strikes on a team that takes a lot of them. And if I can get ahead of them, Jake Cronenworth. what I want to do with two strikes. It's another one of those patient hitters here, high contact hitter in Jake Cronenworth. Okay, this is name right. A guy you look at when you look at this Padres lineup, John, you think this should be a tough one to face. Yeah, because he doesn't really swing from the heels, right? He makes contact for the most part, or at least that's his. That's going to be his calling card as the career continues uh, to unfold. Maybe the only weak spot, he gives up a little bit inside. So inside, he's not as good as he is out over the plate. Wow, Wheeler makes quick work of him, striking him out on three pitches. Wheeler has that angle that, that Good work, Zach. is tougher on left-handers than really you get him out of here. Think that most One out. Would own the right side of their counterpart in the back. Nice. Went well, right the upstairs on you, too. His cutter in or slider, whatever you want to call it, and then that riser fastball that he has, it just makes it a, a, a tough on left-handers to kind of pick up and track the ball. He's throwing off the first base side of the rubber, so he wants that movement. Like nice, that, good oh, pitch. Oh, one to be able to be his sweet spot. And you got Myers at bat for the most part. He can own both sides of the plate. Will Myers, one to Will Myers, who visited with Tom Verducci before the game, the longest tenured Padre. Foul Over ball the trade in 2002. This guy has seen a lot of different versions of this Padres team. That first one that he was on was their first attempt really to go for it. He came over. Shields came over. Kimball was here. Upton, Kemp. Well, he's the last remaining guy from that first push. In his eighth year, takes a ball and it's one and two. And he's one of the last guys, one of the few guys that doesn't wear batting gloves. Right. Got him out of here. Another strikeout. Two gone in the second. Earlier the night. Well, you mentioned Will Myers. Two out. Years in the making for Padres. Making quick work of him. Against the Dodgers. How do you celebrate? He went to a local bar and he said, everybody drinks on me. What shots for everybody? Total bill, he told me, $1,400. And he said it was well worth it. <laughs> that is awesome. I guess you got to know the place before you go there, right? You said it's a random place. You got to know some clientele that. Might not take you north of five. 000. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, let's let's pick a dive. We're gonna be nice. But we're gonna do it in a dive. Two gone for Hassan Kim, who has blossomed here in his second. Oh, so, oh my Andre God! Okay, pop up the center. First pitch. One, two, three. All right, so one, two, three second. He made quick work of him, man. One, two, three. So coming back from commercial break, it'll be top of the fifth for the Phillies. Score still tied, zero, zero. We're going to have eight, nine, and ones for the Phillies coming up. Gene Segura, Brandon Marsh, and Kyle Schwarber. I think Kyle was walked his first, uh, first at-bat. So, yep, commercial break. When we come back, top of the third, score still tied, zero, zero.
So far in this postseason, two scoreless innings here in game one of the championship series. And it's the veteran Gene Segura to lead off the third for the Phillies. One ball, oh, right. Here's the other subplot theme to, to look the for. Take in for the, Gene. Series. the Phillies aren't a, I wouldn't call them a classic speed team on the bases, but you can take some bases and steal against the Padres and against Nola if you have the right clientele on. And I would say this guy. Oh, two. Runs. I'm sorry. Two. Oh, yeah, he's been one. getting on. 389 so far in the postseason for Gene Segura, who's waited a long time for this chance. 11 years in the big leagues, more than 1,300 regular season games. It's more than any other active player without a trip to the postseason. Join his first ride close to 400. Pitch. I think the flaw and, and one, some of the two, in the game today were. We follow the numbers too much, and so you're afraid to make outs because they're valued, and it's tough to score runs. I get it. You had homers. But when there's a glaring weakness on the other team, you have to take advantage of it. You have to find a way to do the little things that will give you a leg up if they get yeah, Bill Walton in the back. The <laughs> Damn, good pitch. 2-2. Two, two. As we look at these two teams, I mean, it's on the margins. These are two really evenly matched teams that are going to be looking for those edges. No doubt. And there's going to be a lot of heat. I mean, literally gas coming out of the bullpen on the top two or three guys of each club. So look for the managers in the first two games to play it pretty tight and go for the, the, the aggressive style of closing out a game. Because after game two, that day off, no more days off. Can't do that anymore for five in a row, potentially. Two two. Ah, got him looking, man. Another damn strikeout. Damn. One out. I mean, this playoff format. Is you Darvish is dealing right now? He look good. The uniqueness of it, we didn't think. A lot of people thought that these two teams would meet. So now the newness in this series is normally day off game after game two, day off after game five. There's only one day off. And that will be more of a season-like strategy for these managers to trust other guys because you can't keep going the same ones. One gone third inning, the ninth hitter, Brandon Marsh. Good pitch. Three run home run. Game four of the division oh, one. series. Brandon Marsh at bat. got in a trade from the Angels, mostly with the defense in mind. And he's done well defensively in center field, but he's also hit. He bet in 300, one home run, three RB, four RBIs. And an 0 1 from you, Darvish. Marsh watches a curve just miss inside. So far, I'll play the player. He hit that one. He's not giving anybody the good side. That, that was a really good pitch. Watch the hitter buckle. See, oh, 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 that's going to be a ball. And it comes straight down. And that's probably on the closer side of the strike call. But nonetheless, he had a buckle when it popped out of his hand. You give him a strike just because it's pretty to watch. Damn, got him swinging. And there's that huge speed separation. Well, that's 20 
miles an hour at least, and that's what's going to be a struggle for a lot of these hitters. If Darvish and, you know, you could say it's the top two and top three for each club starting rotation. If they're hitting their pitches, well, you better get lucky and get a mistake. <laughs> Excuse me. One, two, Brandon Marsh, one out. One, two. God, oh, mercy. Got him looking. Why are you not swinging? 97 in there for strike three. Damn. The two outs. Kyle Schwarber up next. Two strikes. He's deadly. And he's got the two strikes the last two innings at a regular rip, and he's not missing it. Darvish walked Kyle Schwarber to start this game. He's retired eight in a row since, four of the last five on strikeouts. And that's about what you're going to get. You never know. It's like, what is it, a box of chocolates? You yeah. never know what you're going to get. That's it. Second look for the Phillies at Darvish. And a big rip the that cow Kyle swinging all one. Two strikes. The league's hit 132 coming into this game. A strikeout almost half of the time when Darvish gets two strikes on that. That is such a great sequence after burying a slider inside. One and one. You get that. Okay, here comes. And then you just can't wait long enough as a hitter on that pitch. And then when he throws that pitch and anything firm after that, it looks like 100. You know, it just looks faster than. Dang, got him swinging again. It's not even close. Let's go slow. One and two. Let's go curveball. Let's go split away. And now you could go fastball up. Before different pitches, in four pitches. One and two, two out. Nope. Outside. Two, two. No score third inning. Game one of the National League Championship Series. Giant killers, these party crashers facing off. Padres and the two, two, two out. Two, two to Kyle Schwarber. Ah, uh, nice. Nice. Schwarber, both times. Down the right line. Two base runners, both times Kyle Schwarber, a third inning captain. Good hit. Good hit. Let's go two outs. Joe, Philly's hitting coach Kevin runner off, Cole runner on first. And that Schwarber had a great session in the batting cage. Reese Hoskins up next. I asked Schwarber if he made any adjustments, and he said no. He simply is feeling better physically. So often we have no idea what these guys are dealing with. And Long said that now that Schwarber is feeling better, well, that's his pick the click for the series. Yeah, he was much shorter to the ball right there, Kenny, and that adjustment off of a slider. If you're big and long, you're going to swing over the top of it. All right, let's go, Reese. Get big and long early, but that two strike approach was really good. Reese Hoskins. That's a strike. Well, Hoskins and Schwarber have been telling each other, our moment's going to come. Our moment's going to come. And Hoskins has. Oh, one. Is the first game in Philadelphia last Friday night, that three-run home run, iconic scene. The place goes crazy. Hoskins slams his bat down in excitement and release. Schwarber waiting on his moment still. Hey, so I'm swinging. What everybody's trying to do is everyone's oh, two. To lift, separate, and put a point on the board. Two the outs. Board. So Runner on first. Bigger. And against a stuffed guy and a really stuffed He going to get this dude. He going to get this dude chasing. I can see it already. Out. And so it's a stylistic approach that sometimes you don't have enough hitters in there, short, compact, and put the ball in play. They're all going for the long fly ball. Garbage with fastballs gets ahead of one. God damn it. He gets damn. The in the inning, all on fastballs down the middle looking. Damn. 
Yo, he's throwing some damn heat now, man. Why are they not swinging? Damn. Another damn strikeout. We leave one on base. Once we come back from commercial break, it'll be the bottom of the third for the Padres. Score still tied. 0-0. Zero, zero. Be right back. All right, so let's see here. Let's see here. Who is up? We got eight, nine, and one. We got the eight, nine, and one batters up for the Padres. Grisham, Nola, and Crawford. Commercial break. Bottom of the third when we come back. Let me check on the six. Let's see here. Up halftime. 63 up. Look at this box score. James Harden got 22. Tyrese Maxey got nine. And B got 11. Tobias Harris got 14. PJ got two. We're not getting nothing off the bench, though. Jalen Brown, 18. Jason Tatum, 16. Marcus Smart, 8. Al Ho for 3. And he got 10 for Malcolm Brogdon off the bench. So, Looks like it's going to be a good game. Back here at Petco Park. Yeah, be sure to check out the MLB app, the number one app for live baseball, as this postseason continues. And Trent Grisham leads off. It's been his postseason for the Padres. And Ground out the first. Patient hitter. Bounces the first. Nice. The first one out. One, one pitch, pitch out. Jack Wheeler Definitely like that. Twenty-four pitches. That's now nine pitches to get the last four outs. Yeah, and I like that because you got to change the scouting report sometimes. You can't. You you want bait the pitcher into laying one in there because you historically don't swing at anything, and now you create a little doubt in in their mind. But this is the style I thought we were going to see. Who's going to zig when they zag? Because it's pretty evident, we've talked about not swinging type team and a very aggressive swinging team in the Phillies. All right, and it might be reversing the. We got there. Nola at bat for the Padres. Yeah, nice, right over the plate, on one. These guys being more aggressive. Problem is the Phillies are taking strike three <laughs> right down the middle. Yeah. Don't keep zigging that long. Here's an 0-1. Damn, uh, another one. Strike two on Nola. Right over the plate. Fastball. 0-2. Oh, you get in the postseason, you know you're going up against a stud on the other exactly. team. Exactly. Like, he, 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 uh, have him he's throwing some fire right now. Both pitchers are like, they're selling they're it in. Good. They're it's selling it in. It's fun to get back on the mound and do your thing. And like we talked about in the first series, late runs in the late innings. Oh, man. Ground out to short. Sorry, the second. Out at first. Two outs. Okay. Like a three spot in the first Two outs. Go from there. But then, then you know your margin. If you pitch a tight game all the way to the fifth, sixth, and seventh, and a team scores, it feels like such an adrenaline rush because you know you've got to keep it 0-0. When it's 8 nothing, 
six nothing. Your mind just knows that. You, oh, pitch like it's zero zero. Right. Yeah, easier said than done. <laughs> Here's Jerks and right. Profar back at the top of the order. With Zach Wheeler Two outs, the Profar back up. Nothing, top of the rotation. Dominant through five Bottom of the third. Two outs. Wheeler. Wheeler got a 36 pitches so far. Uh, ground the second. Nice. Got in that first. One, two, three. Man, that was fast. All right, so Zach Wheeler ain't playing with him, man. He not playing with him. One, two, three inning. Commercial break. Once we come back, it'll be the top of the fourth inning for the Phillies. Score still tied, 0-0. Zero, zero. One hit allowed by the Padres. Um, That's it. it. Ain't been too much action, man. It ain't been too much action. Let me see here. Who is up for the Phillies when we come back? Up. Oh. Three, four, five for the Phillies. JT Ramuto is going to be up. Bryce Harper and Nick Castellanos. So three, four, five for the Phillies once we come back for commercial break. Pictures look good so far, man. Both first, both, both first innings, but both pictures uh, a little shaky. I think each of them had me about 22, 23 pitches. Uh, the first inning, second inning, man, shit, he got these stuff together. Third inning, man, he throwing some damn heat. Goodness gracious, man, he throwing some damn going heat. They definitely like they got a lot more comfortable and a lot more settled in. So it's definitely gonna be, be it's definitely gonna be a pitching door, man. Ever make the first mistake, I think in my opinion, it's definitely gonna lose this one. Because both pitchers, man, they are they they throwing some heat. And for the Phillies, man, the Phillies, they are a lot more aggressive at the plate than, than they are than they have been today. So uh that just might speak volumes. To the respect that they have for you, Darvish. So but we'll see if they make any adjustments. Still no scores. We go to the fourth inning, game one of the championship series. You Darvish has five Ks over the last two. And he's done a great job just messing with the heads of the Phillies because he's pitching in no pattern at all. So you can have a hard time guessing along with them. And they've taken a lot of strikes and swung at a lot of balls. Overall, swinging way less aggressively than they normally it's, uh, it's a ball on JT one and Ramuto. I mean, JT Ramuto at bat. Standing on three fastballs down the middle. That's a perfect example of a team who doesn't know what to expect. Yeah, the only trend I can see right now, if you're following along, is when he wants to get back in the count behind 2-0, and 2-1, and one, it's a breaking ball. Foul ball, 1-1. Ball, 1-1. And so you watch for these things, and I know everybody's on the bench looking at different things, and you can see the line score for both starting pitchers. And, you know, the, the pitcher reads the hitter. He has his information. We already talked about the video work that he does, and he's done a nice job really out thinking an aggressive hitting. He's almost hypnotized the Phillies' aggressiveness, and then when they need it to be aggressive, he throws a fastball down the middle. That's low one outside, 2-1. Two and one on Real Muto, and we go down to Tom. Well, Joe, I know you're a big fan of Axel Rose, who's got tremendous vocal range. Darvish, Axel Rose of pitching. His range incredible on the mound. Already tonight, 18 different speeds to 11 batters. He's only getting started. Last time out, 23 different speeds. It's two on to Real Muto. That's oh. foul. 
Foul ball, 2-2. Two, two. I bet you're a bigger Axl Rose guy than I am, John. Uh, can't can't lie on that one, TV. I know who he is. Guy, I mean, I'm with you on that. I just can't say that I got like a T-shirt or anything. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you right now, you know, Philadelphia is looking. They're just saying he, he, both teams are looking. Give me a mistake to hit. Yeah, that I'm telling you, that's, that's all they want is a mistake. First mistake, you're going to lose. Oh, my God, another strikeout. That was low. That, that, it was low. They gave him that. Just one out. Goodness gracious. That was definitely low. Yeah, that was low. You basically got all this information to be able to pitch backwards, and then you can flip a script on him again. Like, he, he'll he probably, I would say, in the fifth and sixth inning, may go more fastballs early and then breaking balls later. All right. You just, you never, you never. One out. Bryce Harper at bat. Feel comfortable Darvish is at uh, 56 pitches. One gone for Bryce Harper, who. He might go through six. He definitely gets six. First inning, but as nice of a defensive play as you'll ever see, dropped him of a hit. Inside, one to know. Ball one on Harper. Jay Cronenworth out there in short right field. A sprawling play. Garbage comes home. A reigning MVP, Bryce Harper. Lifts one the other way. That sends Pro. Pop left. Back. Is it too high or did he get enough? He Let's go, Bryce. Let's go. That's that mistake I was talking about. That's that mistake I was talking about. That's that mistake I was talking about. Well, Harper got one out over the plate, and he did that off of Jason. And we needed that. They had one hand that closed out the Braves. And his ability to hit a ball out is just as good as his ability to hit the ball in, and it's almost like he's got that fall-away approach swing. He jumped off so his damn bat, too. But he can hit it the other way. Four needed that one. For Bryce Harper in his last six games. He says he's been willing this whole thing into existence. Right from the start of the postseason run, he's telling all his teammates, we're not losing. We ain't going to lose. We ain't going to lose. They've only lost. 1-0. One one Nick Castellanos at the so the plate. Castellanos and got him swinging. It's one and one. Well, so much pressure Man. when everyone focuses. Oh, my on God. We needed that one. Superstar is supposed to always be the superstar. And you can get isolated. And neutralized if you don't have teammates picking up the slack. I mean, well, he had some teammates picking up the slack because they scored a bunch of runs against the Braves. That's low. 2-1. Two one. Two one. This Phillies team throughout the year has had to pick up the slack. Harper was out for a lot of the year with a broken thumb. They went 32-20 and 20 with Harper out. A two-one pitch. Five, ah, two, foul ball. Two, and we check in with Kenny. Two-two. Right, just yelled at your teammates when you returned to the dugout. Stay on the heater. Is that the best approach against Darvers tonight? Uh, I mean, he's, he's tough. I mean, he's always been tough. So, I mean, that's that's the plan that I'm going to take up there for the next couple of bats. Um, you know, I just think we got to, you know, keep going, keep having good at bats, and uh, try to take this crowd out of as free as possible. Did you think that was out? I wasn't sure. You know, I thought I got enough of it. Might have been a little too high, uh, but I'll take it one nothing. Bryce, thanks a lot. Thank you. All right, so the postseason leader with his fourth home run. Darvish back home with the 2-2. Uh, they got, they got parts of that. Pop up left. Two outs. He's to the edge of the track. Two outs. We look back at Harper's home. Well, watch the swing. I mean, it's still a pretty flat swing for a high fastball. And he gets enough of it to where he's like, okay, maybe. And just enough here in this ballpark. 
Uh, we needed that one, man. That's that's big time, especially in the game like this. The pitching has been excellent. Just to go ahead and get one on the board first, that, that's big time. Alec Baum at, at the plate. 0 for 1 today. Just look at the damn fastball go past you. On one. Because He's spinning so many breaking balls up there and slowing. See, the eyes of the hitter is like the radar gun. And when he's slowing him down, slowing him down, son, and he scissors one in there, yeah. it's the fast twitch muscles. Ooh, too. inside. The trigger. One, one. And those home runs have been the only way to get to him so far this postseason. Darvish has given up five runs on five solo home runs. And that's the name of that's the game. That's the name of the game. If you get beat on solo home runs, it is just tip your hat because it's rare. That's the game I'm thinking about. Foul ball. I always make One and two. Somebody hit seven. Foul and ball. Home runs. I think the Angels did. They hit seven. New Darvish is at runs. 66 pitches so far. And I think they got beat. Yeah. Otani <laughs> probably had a couple and three late shutout innings, but yeah. It was, I think it was Angels and A's, if I'm not mistaken. It was a crazy game. But seven solo home runs usually gets it. You should, you should expect to win. You hit the ball out seven times. Oh, Get the hell out of here. That's not no strike. Another strikeout. All right, so. Commercial break. We're going to the bottom of the fourth. Bryce Harper with the solo shot home run. Score is one nothing. Philly over the Padres. One nothing. We come back from commercial break. It'll be bottom of the fourth for the Padres. And for the Padres, we got hitters two, three, and four up for the Padres. Juan Soto, Manny Machado, and we got Bell. I think Juan Soto was walked his first at bat. Manny Machado was 0 for 1, and Bell is 0 for 1 with a strikeout. My guy, JC Ramirez. What's good, youngin? How you doing? You got Phillies in five? Explain that to me. Why you got Phillies in five? What you see? Well, these rosters dotted with superstars. What you see, man? Talk to me. I would like to have Phillies in five. That would be a dream for me. empty on getting on base. 
And that's just been his calling card, right? He will not expand the zone. He won't. He'll pass the baton on to his teammate. Ground balls on pitches down. You get the ball up over the plate, and you're going to risk what Harper did. Ah, uh, inside. 2-0. He hasn't thrown not one strike to Juan Soto at all. All balls. It would be nice, though, to get ahead of those superstars pitching behind. But 24 pitches in the first inning. Since then, coming into this, 13 pitches. And that, that must be the game plan. Ooh, breaking ball. When these two guys are up. 3 0. So yeah, they're not going to pitch to Juan Soto. That's just clear. Ooh, nice. Good one. 3 1. So disciplined for a young player. I just think the Phillies have a better team. Padres' rotation will eventually get tired and their bats won't stay for long. The Phillies' rotation. Oh, nice. Good strike. Full count for Juan Soto. The Phillies' rotation is phenomenal and the bats are good. Have to keep him alive. Um, look, during the season, our rotation wasn't really that good. They've they've come along. They come a long way since then, but they were still the the bullpen was still ranked twenty fifth. I'm sorry, twenty third in the majors. So you know, was I'm hoping that it, it doesn't come down to the bullpen for us, but uh, you know, we'll we'll see. We'll see how it plays out. And we'll see how the starters for the uh, we'll see how the starters for the Padres. That's uh, foul ball. We'll see how the starters for the Padres uh come along. Me personally, me personally, the longer the series goes, the more that works. I think the the more the longer they uh. The series goes, the more worried I'm going to get about the I'm, the more worried I'm going to be about our bullpen. JT get him time, he sure does. So when you're calling a foul ball, you I think this postseason y'all have it. Hey, I'm hoping you're right, man. I'm hoping you're right. Give that away a little bit, but hard call. So fair foul call. What they've been talking about out there about your Dodgers. So this would have to get over What they talking about? Any changes? Any additions they going to make? I know sports radio have been going crazy out there. I know they have. Tough call for home plate umpire when you see the ball like that, so close to his foot, and then it just barely dribbles forward. Tough call the count the is three and two. They went and uh, reviewed the, uh, a, uh, a, a hit that was called foul. Did they review it? Oh, they didn't. Oh, well. Him running, yeah. You know, by him staying there and making it feel like it hit off his foot, and then he's going to start running right there. <laughs> Get bailed out. Still three-two pitch. Nah, they gave it to him. I thought that was a walk. I thought that was a walk. I knew that was a walk. They gave him the strikeout though. Yeah, Zach, one out. All the way back and makes pitch after pitch after pitch. JC Ramirez. Yep. I'm not, I'm honestly, I'm not mad. I'm not even mad at the Padres. I'm just disappointed in my Dodgers. I mean, what's going to be the changes, JC? Let me know what changes they need to make. I mean, I don't know. From the outside looking in, y'all got a stacked squad. So I don't, uh, I really can't, I really can't tell. Let me know what y'all changes y'all need. One out, Manny Machado at bat. Come on, man. Okay, good. Center field. Nice. One pitch out. Nice. Nice. Two outs. Zach Wheeler pitch count right now is at 45. Bottom of the fourth. They had bats in the regular season. It didn't even show up in the post for the postseason. Yeah. 
That'll definitely do it, dude. I, I don't know. Was it? It can't be pressure, man. I mean, you, you're, the, you're the Dodgers. It's just one of those situations, I guess, that just happens. You know? It happens, I guess. That is after our game, which fall off. That's a ball. That's a strike. We got Josh Bell at the bat. Two outs. Count is one and no. Blake Snell for the Padres. Aaron Nola for the Phillies in game two. Yo, they they popping this ball. All right. It's baseball. You're right. All right. So after a one, two, three inning for the Phillies, we are going to the top of the fifth after the commercial break. The Phillies are up one nothing over the San Diego Padres. Let's see here. And for the Phillies, we got seven, eight, and nine coming up for the Phillies. Bryson Scott is 0 for 1. Gene Segura, 0 for 1 with a K. And Brandon Marsh is 0 for 1 with a K as well. Top of the fifth inning after commercial break. Park here in San Diego. All right, here we go. Top of the fifth. fifth for the Phillies. They lead one nothing. A Bryce Harper home run. Oh my goodness! They giving they they giving all the pitchers just all the calls tonight. I mean, I'm not mad, but my goodness. Bryce and Scott at bat. Count is zero and one. This zero one. Goodness gracious, he, he throwing well, stuff exactly past him. Up to what we thought this oh, two. A tremendous pitching duel. The first two games should be exactly this way. These are two really good pitching staffs that in the front end of the rotation can quiet a really good offense. And even if it's an opportunistic offense, Douglas is proving at the seven Ks, he's got what it takes to pitch into the sixth, seventh inning of this game. Looking for 0 2 pitch. Low and outside. One, two. Obviously, to get him here, the pitching staffs. Phillies have a 255 ERA. Starters have a 144 so far in the postseason. Padres a 280. Got some good starting pitching. The bullpen, especially the back end of the bullpen, has been dominant.
The rookie Scott starting the fifth. A one-two from Darvish. That's low. Checks his swing. No swing. Two-two. Interesting about both these teams towards the end. It didn't look like two-two. He definitely didn't go around on that one. I don't know why you're checking that third. The Brewers nipping at both these two teams. The Phillies went through a what of an eight out of ten loss late. And then, really, it clicked for both clubs, and both managers said, you know, we put it together. It took a while for Bob Melvin to learn his team, learn the personnel, come in here on the scene as the new manager. Hey, you're so right. Foul ball. It really, didn't totally click Two -two. until the postseason. Right. The Padres were below 500 from the end of June on. The Phillies were 15-20 and 20 over their last 35 games, and the Padres got it going a little bit towards the end of the regular season, but... And neither one of these teams just took off. Not right in time to take down some Giants over the first two rounds. Another 2 2 to stop. All right. Ground out the first. Ooh. You serious? I thought he got. I, I thought he. I thought he beat him. I thought he beat the first baseman before he got there, man. They say the fastest way to first base is to stay on your feet, but it looks closer when you can slide. When you oh, slide okay, like this, yeah, he did. Damn. Get you in the first, but I just damn. All right, one out. Faster, but it looks first better. baseman definitely and got there. Confusing to the first yeah. base umpire because he doesn't hear the thud thud, the ball in the glove and the foot hitting the bag. Definitely looks better though. You got that. Yeah, right. that's out. Just there. Y'all saw that? Myers. That's out. I thought it was closer than that. Well, that's, yeah, that's out. One away, fifth inning. Here's Gene Segura. Let's go, Gene. God damn it. You, you know what Foul ball. Oh, one. It's such a statement you hear all the time. Well, well we got nothing to lose. We're going to play, you know, we're going we're gonna to play loose. That, that's a bogus statement. You got everything to lose. They were not favored. Let's get that straight. And they went into New York, but they were playing the kind of baseball, the Padres, that is. When they went in and took care of New York, they gained that confidence on a team that owned them in the Dodgers, they beat the Dodgers, and now they think they can beat anybody. Why not? Oh, side, that's inside. You know, that almost hit you. We're not losing. One and, and one. They finally got probably the healthiest team they've had in a while. With the bullpen, the starters, and now him and the position players, they're, they're a scary team. But you can't go in going, hey, we got nothing to lose, and that's why we won. Well, if that was the case, you'd do that all the time. Got him swinging into short. short. I saw it's out. Two outs. Well, the finalists for the 2022 Hank Aaron Award have been announced, and fans can cast their vote for the top offensive performers in each league at MLB.com slash Aaron. All right, two outs. Top of the fifth. You Darvish right now is at 76 pitches. You know, the Padres, that little surge towards the end of the season. Came after Bob Melvin, in the words of Jake Cronenworth, got mad at him for the first time. In September 15, they got shut out by Arizona 4 to nothing, And Bob said, I just didn't feel like we put up much of a fight. All so right, Marsh. Oh for one today with a strikeout. A Two outs. Here's Marsh. Rounds Round the first. Next day a one pitch team. out, man. Damn, one, two, three out. One, two, three inning. All right. So, after that one, two, three inning, it'll be the bottom of the fifth when we come back from commercial break. Phillies is still up one nothing over the San Diego Padres. And for the Padres, we got five, six, and seven up for the Padres. Cronenworth, 0 for 1 with a strikeout. Myers, 0 for 1 with a K. And uh, Kim is 0 for 1. So five, six, and seven is up for the Padres once we come back from commercial break. This, uh, uh, the pitching is outstanding this, this 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 game. I don't know what's more enjoyable. Watching just a pitching duel 
you know, because the game is a little shorter too. We got a pitching duel, and uh, or or seeing a bunch of hits and home runs, you know, which you know makes the game a little longer, you know, but uh, it's more enjoyable, especially it's a lot more action packed. But seeing a good pitching duel, man, I, I actually enjoy a good pitching duel, you know. And they like they doubling around the plate. They actually they actually literally throwing strikes. Check it on the Sixers game, see what's going on here. What the heck? All right, so the Sixers is down almost at the end of the third quarter 85 95. Celtics over the Sixers. What the heck happened? All right, so uh, James Harden got 31 and B got 19. Uh, Tobias Harris got 14. I see what the problem is. We're not getting no points from the bench. We got eight points off the bench. Eight points off the bench. And the Celtics have 19, 20, 22 points off the bench. So that's the damn difference. Tatum has 33 and Jalen Brown has 22. All right, here we go, Zach. Let's get back to Phillies. Fly ball, left field. Nice. One pitch out. One out. That's crazy. Bottom of the fifth. And Zach only has 48 pitches. Well, their plan worked. His feeler was up against the Braves. It is up again tonight. Two to two and a half miles per hour for each pitch. And he's been leaning on that pitch, Sean, throwing the four seam more and more here this postseason. Nice. Oh, one. Life, low three Good quarter. Pitch. It looks like he gets underneath it, but he's really not. He's on top of that fastball, and that's that extension I was talking about on how the hitters can't pick it up. Oh, by the way, he's got a weapon that he's been saving. Mm. And that weapon's that curve Outside, one and hitting. one. So when you can hit with fastballs and then Myers at the plate. In, it's only seven of them tonight, so he's saving them for the for the opportunity later in the game. So far in the postseason, 0 for 12 with six Ks on that pitch. Looking like a throwback tonight, Zach Wheeler. No, no. That breaking pitch misses, and it's 2-1. 2-1. They thought he had went around. He did. The ERA for Zach Wheeler since taking the month off that Kenny was talking about. 132 over his final three starts of the regular season. First two starts of the postseason. And the 4 0 so far tonight. That's up the middle. All right. First one of the game for the Padres comes from their longest tenure player, Will Myers. Base hit for the Padres. Right up the middle. First hit of the night. Myers took advantage of it. Ball leaks in inner half of the plate, trying to go away. But watch the ball leak in. See how it leaks in right to his barrel. Even though he doesn't super square it up, he hits it up the middle. The first hit. Now, this guy that's at the plate, this is their rallying guy. I, you may not know much about Kim if you haven't followed or are not a fan of the Padres. But All right, let me see something, guy. Kim. He could be overmatched at the plate but comes up with big hits. He's getting better and better in defense. Kim is 0 for 1. One out, runner on first. Nice. Well, good pitch. About Hassan Kim. Let's tell you a little bit about the 27-year-old. Just turned 27 yesterday. Seven years as a pro in Korea where he was a superstar. He was a home runs and fun bat flips after the home runs came to the majors last year struggled mightily really just spot duty over the second half of the year it's been a whole lot of Five ball second season though. Here he first base first. Will put it away. And Kim is out all right two, two outs but he's runner on first he's the one that comes in the dugout dancing he's the guy that they have rallied around he's energy 
he has really become a favorite of that ball club. And it's funny because we were talking to Bob Melvin. He said he was flying in this dugout. He had to catch him. He missed the first two steps. He said he would have face planted, but they love him, and he's gotten better and better. And like I said, he's in the middle of some big hits this year. They said last year he was kind of like the mascot. Well, this year he's got all those endearing qualities, but he's got the production to go along with it. Well, this is what all you need to put a period on this statement. When Tatis comes back, a lot of people feel like Kim will be the shortstop. Uh huh. Hasn't just saved the Padres this season. He's unlocked something moving forward. I think Tatis is going to play center. Trent Grisham trying to have something to say. Nice, good this pitch. Season. Inside he's strike. Oh, one. So he's, he's saying Kim will going to mess around and, and take Fernando Tatis' spot. Year has got to go. For him to do this in the postseason saves your year. You don't even. If he keeps going at this pace, oh one, two outs, you. runner on first. Grisham at the plate. Wasn't nice, good off speed pitch. Zero oh and two. He was hitting one eighty four during the regular year. It was closer to one hundred over the last two months. And so the last two weeks, he wasn't even playing every day. They were playing a rookie Jose Azokar. and then they debated whether or not to play him every day in the postseason. They said, okay, we're going to do it. And all he's done is homer against Scherzer. And DeGrom, and he's been one of the top hitters in the league. In nice. The he went around. Check what? Okay. You got that. One and two. One and two. Oh, that one looked tough there. That one looked like he went. That's what I'm saying. He did, he did go around. Made the appearance look like he did. He kept his elbows back as long as he could. The way Bob Melvin put it about Trent Grisham, he went from being completely Yeah, he went around. Down. To our MVP through two rounds. Out of the eighth spot. All right. One and two. Two outs. Runner on first. Trent Grisham. Ah, that's high. What, what you two, two. That's high. If he was a free swinger and hitting 184, right? Like if he was super aggressive, expanding his own. He rarely swings. Mm -hmm. So he's really only got like one pitch to hit per at bat if he – the trend was going well. He's made the most of some of those in the postseason. He did come out to get in the game today. I believe swung at the first pitch, yeah. which is kind of different. Very for him. Takes more strike threes than any hitter in baseball. Two two. He's nice strike out. Get him out of here. All right. So commercial break. We are going to another commercial break. When we come back, it's going to be top of the sixth inning. Philly's really still up. One nothing. Let me see here. So for the Phillies, when they come up, it's going to be one, two, and three for the Phillies. Kyle Schwarber, one for one with a walk. Reese Hoskins, 0 for 2 with a K, and JT Real Muto, 0 for 2 with a K. Commercial break. When we come back, top of the six for the Phillies. Good pitching duel. Good pitching duel, man. It's a great pitching duel, actually. You Darvish definitely have a lot of the Phillies pitchers off balance and not really swinging at a whole lot. So he, he definitely doing some heat, and all his breaking balls is uh is catching a lot of the pitchers. Not sorry, a lot of the hitters off guard but they still landed for strikes so good game though six inning we were like a minute and 40 into the stream and it's already at the sixth inning so I'm curious to see what the speed of the game is going to look like once they implement that, that uh, pitch clock and all the other things they got on the speed of the game up some so 
will be interesting to see. All right, we go. Top of the six. Kyle Schwarber up first. Say, nah, I made a bad pitch with the slider and still start him off slow with breaking balls. That's how he's pitched tonight, backwards. And it is a breaking ball. Schwarber was ready. How far does this go? Nice. Let's go, Kyle. Let's go, Kyle. That last at bat that he had when he got that single, it looked quick, short to the ball. Nice. Good like money. Good money. Kyle Schwarber with the solo home run. First pitch. First pitch. First pitch. Our big money guys are stepping up today. They stepping up today. Two things. You either sit on location once you get it, and you just let the bat go. He's one of the strongest human beings, and he's been lost coming into this game. Kenny talked about the adjustment he made with Kevin Long. Wow, that is a key they better keep because they have a lot yeah. of huge Yeah, yeah. Two mistakes. That is his Two mistakes for Darby so far. One ball, no strikes on Reese. That's high. One and no. Reese Hoskins at bat. Oh, we needed that one, man. Uh, he smashed that joint, too. Oh, Pop up. One out. Was absolutely destroyed. Uh, inner half. And Yo, he killed that damn baseball. I mean, so uh, he just he destroyed it. An explosive that. It and he smashed it. I mean, you heard it. I mean, I, I, if you got a ticket, you're that's one thing about baseball, baseball, man. When, you, when somebody hits something good, you hear it. Even if you're not paying attention, man. Once you hear that sound, you, <laughs> your head went right to the screen. Goodness JT gracious. JT Real Muto, 0 2 for the day. One out, top of the six. That's ball. One and oh. And so it's another solo home run tallying against you, Darvish. That's the only way he's given up runs this postseason. But to this point, no support. As, as, as outside. First time he went through the lineup was an even split between four seamers and cutters. Second time he went through the lineup, it was three times, four times. Four, forty-six percent four seamer and twelve percent cutter. Two zero. Grounded is short. How that first? Two outs. Was 119.7 miles per hour. You told me before the game you were feeling better physically. How did that swing feel? Yeah, it definitely felt good. Uh, you know, the good pitcher out there. We got to stay on him, and uh, yeah, I mean, swing felt good there, and hopefully keep it going here. Kyle, thanks a lot, Joe. Back to you. All right, Kenny. It was the hardest hit home run of Kyle Schwarber's career, and confirm it is the fourth. Hardest hit ball in baseball this season. Sheesh. 488 feet. The farthest that a home run has ever traveled at Petco Park. Yeah, he's setting records. Harper. But a much different profile. One -oh. this home run. Lofted a fly ball the other way. Boy, there's finding it. There's having something click. And then there's absolutely destroying a baseball the way Schwarber just did. Uh, that was obscene there. That 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 one was uh, 
for the ages. Ooh, foul ball. One and one. Well, one how quick this is. It's just straight to the ball. I mean, he's a handsy Damn. hitter, right? His timing of his upper half, he uses his lower half. And when he's squatting and using his lower legs, there's nobody stronger in the game. And he can get disjointed. He was disjointed. And something connected him back. Same thing with Harper. Very violent upper body swing. But his lower half is the reason why he can do that. And it's the reason why he can hit it all over the ballpark as well. One one. Harper's Yo, right stop! Soto goes back on it. Oh, I was about to say, oh my God, he got all of that too. Damn! All right, Kyle Schwarber with the solo home run. Score is two nothing. We go into the commercial break. When we come back, it'll be the bottom of the six. Phillies is up over the Padres, two nothing. And for the Padres, uh, nine, one, and two are up for the Padres. Nola is 0 for 1. Proffer is 0 for 2. And Juan Soto is 0 for 1 with a walk and a K. Two nothing. Put these over the Padres. Commercial break. This is going to be one of them games, man, where those two mistakes by you, Darvish, is definitely going to cost the Padres this game because I can I can really, I can honestly see Zach going at least through the seventh. You know, I think his pitch count right now is really only uh, maybe like 56, 57. So if we can get another short, quick, short inning from the sixth inning and get into the seventh. I, I really think we can go ahead and push him to the seventh. But uh yeah, man, that you know the big money guys for the Phillies are definitely coming alive when we needed them because it, it was slow all day. So uh we'll see how Zach handles this uh top the the, the bottom of the six. Like I said, we can keep his pitch his uh his pitch count low. I definitely think we can push him to the seventh. Two runs, two hits for the Phillies. No runs, one hit for the Padres. Bottom of the six. Tight game, tight game. You get one run lead. Here's a shot the other way by Austin Nola. Nice pop up. Nice. Right at the wall. Gave it a ride, but Castellanos. One pitch out. It's another one. One pitch out. One out. When the game is tight. I mean, everyone wants room for error. Don't get me wrong. Nola and definitely put that thing out there, though. And then they add that run. Just like I said, in the sixth inning, it's 2 nothing. It feels like 4 nothing. And you know the tying runs at the plate if somebody gets on base. But nice. I'd rather have it this way. That's his sixth first pitch out, by the way. Yo, that's crazy. That's his amazing. sixth first and pitch out. Figured out. I'm, what they're talking about in the dugout is, hey, look, this guy's throwing strikes. And so our patient approach... We're just going to get the two strikes faster than we want to. Let's find one in the zone. All right, Let's one out. The ball. Don't let it travel. Go Proffer at the back. Nice, oh, good strike. 0-1. So oh, 
Right now, Zach, pitch count is at 61. One out, bottom of the six. I could definitely see him going through the seventh. Nice. 0 2. His name is Profar. I call him Profar. Profar. 0 2 pitch. Uh, I tried to get him. One and two. If anybody on the stream that hasn't already, please, please, please hit the like button. I would definitely appreciate it. All the love and support is needed. One two pitch. Foul ball. Still one two. You had some distance from those injuries that he had dealt with and that he was ready to blossom, and they were right. And and, and that's that's the deal, right? He, he dealt with some of those injuries mainly because of the way his ball and his hand come out of the glove, his elbows and shoulders. Got that Tommy John. Now he's connected again. One, two, downstairs, tell you, two, two. Each pitcher has a key. For him, it's a firm front leg, not soft. When his front leg comes down soft, puts a lot of pressure on the upper body, it means he's late. When it comes down firm, He's going downhill behind the ball, and nothing can really go wrong, and the timing is good. 2-2. Two, two. Foul ball. And it really is the foot placement. Sometimes, to explain it over the air, do you put your foot down and drive it, or do you softly put it down and pitch around it? That's the big difference. you got to get down and drive it. And look. He's got electric stuff that doesn't look electric when you just watch. All right, here we go. Another 2 2 pitch. One out, bottom of the six. Here's his 2 2 to Profar. Yes. Got him looking. That's his sixth strikeout. Nice. Pitch count 67 right now. Well, if he had to execute his game plan, he's executed it perfectly. That ball might have been above the zone, but it had tremendous movement. What did we say in the beginning? You got to face Soto <laughs> and Machado with nobody on. So far, so good. If you're two outs, fan watching Wheeler go at it. Juan Soto at bat. His first time, got ahead three and zero. His second time. This the only. Wheeler this the only hitter that's been giving curve. Zach some problems. First pitch. Ooh, nice. O one. Juan Soto first two at bats. The first four pitches, Zach done to him. They was all balls. Confident to know that he could hit with two strikes, one strike. So oh one. Wait for his pitch. Two outs. And he like Harper, he can hit the ball the other way like a pulled right-handed hitter. So if he gets a fastball out over the plate and he lets the barrel go, he can drive the ball to left field, just like Harper does. His favorite place to go left center. Oh, one nice, got him swinging. Oh, two since coming to the Padres, not as many line drives, not using the whole field the way that he does when he's totally right. Bob Melvin feels like right now, though, might be the closest he's been since they acquired him to really taking off the game. And an 0 2 from Zach Wheeler. Soto, oh, is a foul. Thought he had any foul ball. Good way to make contact. Foul ball. When you're facing somebody on the other side, I, don't tell me what they're doing now. You know what you're capable of, and it's the flip, right? Rob Thompson. Hey, I know what Soto's capable of. Whether he's locked in or not, he's not the guy. I'm, I'm, all, I'm more concerned with the other guys. I know what he can do. Nice, got him swinging. Damn, seven strikeouts already. Oh my goodness, he is balling. Research shows that people remember ads with young people having oh. a good time. So to help you. All right, so we are going to the top of the fifth inning after this commercial break. Goodness, yo, Zach is dealing. All right. After the commercial break, it'll be top of the seventh. Phillies are still up 2 nothing over the San Diego Padres.
And for the Phillies, when they come back, it'll be five, six, and seven up for the Phillies. Nick Castellanos, 0 for 2 with a K. Alec Boehm, 0 for 2 with two Ks. And Bryson Scott, 0 for 2. Phillies up 2 nothing. Anybody that's on the stream, man, if you haven't already, please, please, please hit the like button. I would definitely appreciate it. All the love and support is definitely needed. Trying to build the community over here, build the family up, you know. Phillies is in the playoffs. Eagles is 6 and 0. Sixers home, Sixers are. Uh, season opener was today so um yeah we're gonna be here man we got a lot of streaming going on this week we back on here tomorrow for game two phillies padres thursday we're gonna do our first sixers game sixers bucks that's gonna be a prime time tnt game um friday I know it's going to be game three for the Phillies and Padres. I'm not sure because of work schedule if I'm going to stream that game or not. But um, game four, which is Saturday, I'm definitely going to be streaming game four, which is Saturday. And, you know, hopefully we're not going to need it. But if we do, game five, Sunday. So, uh, yeah, man, we're going to be on here, man. Y'all going to have me working. We got a whole bunch of streams this week. But I'm here for it, man. I'm excited. Channel is about six weeks old. You know, so I'm just trying to, you know, get the content out there. Give you guys some value, some entertainment, you know. Give you some, something a little different. Padres just one hit tonight against Zach Wheeler. And they trail 2-0 as this game goes to the seventh. Top of the seventh. Nick Castellanos leads off for the Phillies. Darvish comes home. Ooh, Last good pitch. I mean, they, the they giving them. They just giving them strikes. Carried away. They're in a lot of. Oh one. They were down three nothing to the to the Dodgers, and then boom, boom, boom. And, and they just play a lot of these games because their offense tends to be in this ballpark on the lower scoring game. Because this small park doesn't produce a lot of. Ooh, uh, good strike. Got him swinging. O2. And there you have it. I mean, Wheeler has been unbelievable. Darvish has equaled it, just made two mistakes. Two mistakes is all we needed. And Darvish is hoping that the theory that I keep talking about won't get him. They both got seven strikeouts. Usually they'll beat you. Couple of them tonight. Harper and Schwab are both going deep for the fill. Sketch the outside. outside. One and two. Anything on that side of the plate now that's spinning? He he took he took that as if that's good. if that's strike three, there's nothing I can do about it. But now if he chases spin on the outside part of the plate, he can't lay off of it. Puts too much pressure on the hitter. Well, oh, he got a good piece of that. Manny Machado right to third. One out. One out. One away here in the seventh. The our game summary is presented by Liberty Mutual. Harper and Schwarber both hitting solo shots. Zach Wheeler now 19 innings in the postseason has put up zeros in 18 of them. Yeah, I mean, he has been. The timing couldn't be any better for both these clubs, what their starting pitchers have done. Because you go to the ballpark and you go, we got a great chance to win. Give me two. Give me three. We're going to win. All right. Alec Bohm up. 0 for 2 today. Damn. Ground out the third. This is like really crazy statement I'm about to make. Can't wait. There's going to be a complete game in this series. Uh, so two outs. Could it be call me crazy. Could call it be crazy. Tonight. You Darvish is at 91 pitches. Game. I feel like the, well, these pitches Top of the seventh. This offense is. The he definitely dealing tonight, though, man. He he looks good. And Scott with two away, and one of the ways that Bryce and Scott, Bryce and Stocks, is you might lean on your starters more so as not to expose those bullpens. At the plate. Padres bullpen has been great. 
really good at the back end. The bridge there, questionable. Philly Spen has been good, but still the relative pressure of his team. And so you know, what I know. Are probably going to push those starters a little bit more, given those things, given the five straight days they're going to have to play after the day off. Yeah, and look, we've already seen, don't have to go back and talk about the momentum switches when you take out a pitcher who's dealing to the other play the player's mindset. And when a guy's Too low. and you're showing no, high and outside. And no threats. Padres got two women up in the bullpen. Martinez and Hill. The game is not coming for the Padres. That's in Hill warming. Nick Martinez as well. Darvish at 92 pitches. Yeah, this is his last inning. This is it for him. 93rd is a 2 0 to Bracing Stock. Good pitch. 2 1, good pitch. That's a good pitch. Darvish once again, six and two thirds, 30th time in 33 starts this year. He's gone to six plus. This is not something he did early in his career because he was around the zone so much. He's attacked like never before. Here's a 36 year old getting better and better. Stop flies on the right center right. field. Grisham Pop up the center. That's it. One, two, three inning for you, Darvish, and the Padres. Commercial break. Commercial break. When we come back from commercial break, it'll be the bottom of the seventh inning. Phillies is still up. Two nothing. Phillies still up. Two nothing. Yeah, I mean, besides those two mistakes that you Darvish had, man, he he pitched a fantastic game. Let me see his stats, man. Let me see this man's stats. Yep, 70 innings, three hits, two runs, one walk, seven Ks. I mean, dude, you can't, you, you really can't beat that. That's a solid start, man. Them, them two mistakes that he made, man, turned into two runs for us, though. So, you know, hopefully Zach Weller can go ahead and get this. We can get him through the seventh inning. Excuse me. And, uh, Go ahead and close this thing out. But yep, commercial break. Once we come back, at the bottom of the seventh for the Padres. Phillies up two nothing. Copyright going on here. Well, you know you're doing something impressive when your peers are making faces like uh, Bryce Harper made there on that Kyle Schwarber home run, the longest someone ever hit in this ballpark. 
2-0 game, a couple solo home runs in the first game of this championship series. A great pitching matchup. I think it's going to be a great series, and it's going to be dominated by pitching and whatever offense could be opportunistic, and so far Philly has. Darvish, tough on left-handers. Both left-handers yeah. hit the homer, and I think for uh, you know Philly, you're going to ride this hot hand as long as you can. He's only got 71 pitches. I like uh I like a pitcher to do it. Yeah, you really went out on a limb when he said complete game could be coming to check in the K. Nine pitches in innings since the first. Yeah. All right, Manny Machado at bat. 0 for 2. He's trying to have something to say about that. Zach Wheeler, dominant so far. Comes on. Nice. Takes ball one. What a ball. That's a strike. Wheeler. It was a single from Will Myers. 1 0. He's walked one. He struck out seven. Shadow Bell and Cronenworth up for the Padres here in the inning that was the magic one for them in game four of the division series against the Dodgers. But five runs to erase the three nothing deficit. Machado scorches a foul. Foul ball. Third baseline. Well, this one and one. Pitch sequence is against one of the great hitters in the game. When you think about what he's able to do, he gives him a little bit of a wrinkle there, and then he even gives him a little wrinkle below that. So he gets him in a tough spot and then throws an inside two-seamer that runs away, and then the curveball changes speed away. And he had Soto thinking completely opposite of whatever he thought was coming. Ooh, that's inside. Goodness gracious. Machado, two and one. Two one. Not too many times tonight he's been behind the count. 19 innings in this postseason, 18 zeros put up by Zach Wheeler. So his eighth year in the big leagues, pitching in the postseason for the first time this year. Foul ball. Power against power. 2-2. Two, two. Two. Well, if the Padres are going to have a chance in this series, I know that the offense has not been what's gotten them here. But Machado and Soto are going to have to hit like stars. Yeah, and it's a lot of pressure to put on them because the pitchers are going to pitch according to that. They know that. And so, you know, you, you, you hyper-focus the superstars in that lineup. You circle that lineup before the game starts. 2-2. Two -two. Nice. Cross-up, oh. including the umpire. What was that? And they say foul ball. Foul ball, okay. Let's see. All right, three, two. It was. Uh, heard oh, some guess stuff. Not. Yeah, know, three and two. Blank. What? Thought it was a foul ball. All right, three, two. Coming down as a three, two pitch, I guess. Yeah, then they just now shifted the scoreboard in the stadium to say three balls, two strikes. A payoff pitch. Manny Machado. Skies it to right. Pop up, right field. Castellanos coming on. One out. Here we go. Need that. Start Saturday strong with Big Noon Saturday on Fox. Heisman front runner C.J. Stroud leads number two Ohio State against Iowa. And then a top ten showdown out west. Ninth ranked, unbeaten UCLA takes on number ten Oregon. All on Fox at the Fox Sports app. Well, Wheeler's pounding the strike zone. Coming into this inning, 16 of the first 20 strike ones, right? That's an 80% clip. That's going to get it done. It's going to be putting the other team in a hole. Nice. And that's been Breaking ball, 0-1. Quick outs. You got that team to get out One out, bottom of the seventh. Because they're very good at making the other pitcher work, not swing a lot. That's a bullet. Nice. Segura, right to Segura. Two, two outs. Zach is dealing, man. Yo, he is looking he pitched good. Into this game. The one pitch he's got in his back pocket is that curveball. He's been getting outs with fastballs. And this series could very well come down to who gets the most outs with fastballs with their starting pitching. Zach Wheeler more and more fastball as the season went on. He's turned it up even a notch here in the postseason. 79 pitches, and there is some stirring down in that Phillies bullpen. As Jake Cronenworth comes up here with two gone. 
Nice. It's a game of high velocity and spin rate. We're trying to miss barrels and miss bats. I get it. But if you can make quality pitches with your fastball. Dominguez balls, is in the bullpen warming up for us. Oh, one, two outs. Pitching. That's high. One, one. Afraid to pitch to contact because everybody wants to strike everybody out. And what does that do? That builds up the pitch count, gets you out of the game, and the next guy comes in and tries to strike everybody out. And what we're seeing is a clinic on being able to make pitches in the zone, but off the barrel of the bat. That was Sir Anthony Dominguez. From the top guy. Nice oh, foul ball. For the Phillies. One and two. It's one and two on Cronenworth. And that, at this point, feels like just in case things go sideways here. Because any move until then feels like it's yeah. acting too and, soon. And I don't know what Rob's going to do next inning, but I, I, I wouldn't even think about bringing in a reliever until somebody gets on base. And even, yeah. Yeah. Like, but, I mean, this is the way he's going, and he's pitching good. And even though it's a couple hard contacts. Nice. Got him out of here. Another strikeout. Yo, Zach is Dylan. My goodness, man. My goodness. All right, we're going to commercial break. When we come back from commercial break, it'd be top of the eighth inning. Phillies up 2 nothing over the Padres. They can't hit Zach. Say it ain't damn light. Yo, he is balling right now, man. He is balling right now, man. Like they said on the broadcast, too. You got to keep him in. At this point, you got to keep him in. He looked too good, man, to take out. Got to keep him in, man. Got to keep him in. Hopefully, the, the, the Phillies can get another run or two up. As a matter of fact, while we're at it, um, hitters 8, 9, and 1 are up for the Phillies. Gene Segura, 0 for 2 with a K. Uh, Brandon Marsh, 0 for 2 with a K. Kyle Schwarber is two for two with a home run, an RBI, and a walk. Commercial break. When we come back from commercial, to the top of the eighth inning. I don't. You Darvish is going to get pulled more than likely. They had two warming up in the bullpen. Phillies up two nothing. Stack the most total bases each day during the postseason and compete to win 50 grand at their MLB base chase in the MLB play app or through MLB.com slash play. Restrictions apply. See official rules for details. And don't miss a thing this postseason. Follow at MLB on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube to keep up with everything baseball. For the Padres bullpen, collectively one of the breakout stars of the postseason, just one run over 16 innings in the division series against the Dodgers. And this guy here, Nick Martinez, five innings, just one run. He's nasty. Four pitch mix, great change up, good curveball, fastball cut. All right, let's see some. Good pitch. That's a good pitch. And you mentioned it. Oh, one. That is a huge reason why they were able to pull off some upsets because. 0.56 ERA in the NLDS versus the Dodgers. The deal on the games they got the lead. Okay. Martinez, who began this season in the rotation, 
as half. Mid-season. It was even a stretch there in August. One and one. Shader was struggling where Martinez became the closer. And he's got swing and missed stuff. I mean, he can that change up and curveball. We'll see it soon. Here's one one. Let's pop Hit up to right. To right. To one out. One gone in this eighth inning. And now, a quick word from Capital One. Capital One is the official bank. Hey, we don't need no, no, no ads running on the stream right now. Absolutely not. Well, all right, Brandon Marsh at bat. One out, you top of the eighth. Take Wheeler out? I already think they've taken him out. So, we were watching folks, Zach Wheeler, come off of the field after that seventh inning. The body language in there, the handshakes, would lead you to believe he's done, which feels like a mistake. One and know. I mean, given the, the way that he has pitched the last five or so starts and the time he had off, I mean, a regular season, absolutely no chance they take him out of the game. But looks like they may take him out of the game based on who's warming up and the handshakes he got. There's a Damn, goodness, <laughs> man. One and two. Good pitch. But, I mean, he's at 83 pitches. They've hardly touched it. I know there's a line drive from Josh Bell last inning. It's not like the top of the order is coming up. It's going to be six, seven, and eight. It just seems like overthinking it. It, it might be. Two nothing game. Uh, we talk about the series with uh, only one day off. Nice. Good pitch. One and two. That's a good pitch. Oh, mercy. No stress in this game today. So 83 pitches. No stress. Pretty low stress here. Yeah. It's like we're going to find out. Eighth inning, 2 nothing, game one. Martinez fires in March. Foul ball. One and two. All right, so here's what we saw. Yeah, you don't, you don't home, you don't give handshakes like that. Yeah, I mean, you just let the pitcher go, let him go to his spot. It's a full receiving line there. Yeah, yeah. That's, <laughs> that'd be a lot of work if that was ever getting. I ain't shaking hands. All right, one and two, one out. She's over for two in this one. Waits on a one two. And Chase is a big yeah, swinging man. That was low. Two outs. Back to the top of the order and the star of this All right, Kyle Schwarber. Kyle Schwarber absolutely unloaded on a ball. Longest home run of his career. Longest home run in this ballpark. Yeah, I mean, it just doesn't take into effect the air here either. So that ball is smoked. Mm. I throw first pitch change up right here if I'm Martinez. But that ball is in the upper deck and you don't see many ever up there. There are all the details. Let's go, Kyle. Let's see something. Fourth hardest hit ball in the sport this year. One and no. And the dirt with a curve, one ball, no strikes. 42nd postseason game for Kyle Schwarber, who's played eight years in the majors, been to the postseason seven times. Philly's seeing a couple things that they wanted when they signed him tonight. That is the power and the ability to do it. Nice, not no strike. One and one. Schwarber's right. I mean, he can go all parts of the field. I mean, I know he's looking to pull, but he's got that ballpark he's playing in, Citizen Ball, Bank Bank Ballpark. My gosh, that left field's nice for him, too. Foul ball. One and two. Claire Resume is sponsored by Indeed. Two homers in this game, Schwarber and Harper. Schwarber's the hardest hit one of his career. Harper's the highest home run of his season. Both counted for one. Nick Martinez looking for one, two, three, eight. Foul ball. Hits it a mile. Still one and two. Into the upper deck, the way foul. I know that this postseason especially will have a lot of question marks around it. Some of the teams that didn't go as far as they should. 
and a lot of it will be about when to pull somebody and the philosophy of pitching and all that stuff. There's no guarantee the next guy coming in is going to be pounding strikes. Damn, strikeout, man. Goodness gracious. All right, so commercial break, man. We're going to the bottom of the eighth inning. Phillies is up 2 nothing over the Padres. It looks like they're going to pull Zach Wheeler. That's probably his night. His night is over. Sir Anthony Dominguez should be coming in. Um, as a setup pitcher, probably for Zach Eflin. So we'll see when we come back for commercial break. The Phillies are up. Going to the bottom of the eighth. Two nothing. We got six, seven, and eight up for the Padres. We got Myers, we got Kim, and we got Grisham up. Six, seven, and eight in the lineup for the Padres. Some life injected into this place as Zach Wheeler is taken out of the game. Sir nice. Dominguez pours in strike one to Will Myers. Now, Dominguez has been dominant this postseason. He's faced 12 batters. Albert Buster Jr., man. Thank you for the support. He says Philly sweeps the Padres. Dude, I hope so. It's going to be the Phillies and the Yankees in the World Series. I don't think the Yankees are beating the, uh, the Astros. That's me personally. I don't. They don't have the pitching for uh for that, in, in my opinion, anyway. Oh, two count. One and two. Game in left field, defensive substitution for Kyle Schwarber. One and two on Myers, who has the lone hit of this game. Will Myers one for two today. So perhaps that factoring into the decision to take. Wheeler out at Count is one and two, bottom of the eighth, no outs. Sir Anthony Dominguez on the mound for the Phillies. Nice. Nice. One out with the strikeout. Yeah, he was good. I mean, he elevated the ball when he needed to. He pitched the corners. He commanded up. Yeah, hey, it would definitely be nice. It would definitely be nice. You know, but – uh. That Houston team, is, it, they just built different, you know. They just – even with all the cheating, <laughs> you know, they really didn't need all the cheating. But they they uh they built for the postseason. Two mistakes that left the park. 
Ha Song Kim. Ah, uh, 1 0. So, Wheeler and Nola have started five of the Ha Song Kim at the plate. The 0 for 2 today. And the rotation for the Phillies, a 1 7. Sir Anthony Dominguez on the mound for the Phillies. That's the best of any team in the playoffs. The 1 0 pitch. Popped up. Pop up. Third base. Two outs. Two outs. We four outs away. Let's go down to Tom. Well, Joe, we talked about how electric the fastball was tonight for Zach Wheeler. How about this? 16 pitches to Manny Machado. 14 of them were fastballs. Got him out three times. 97, 97, 98. And those first pitch outs, five of those first, all those six first pitch outs were fastballs in the zone, beating the Padres with his fastball. Oh, old school country hardball. Zach Wheeler. Two gone for Trent Grisham. Nice. Good pitch. Inside strike. 0 and 1. Once Dominguez put it together, Alvarado started throwing strikes. Their bullpen was a little bit shaky, to say the least, over the last three years and even this year. And they moved some pieces around, got some guys hot. And it's coming out of their hands. Oh my goodness, another one. Inside pitch, 0 oh and 2. Yo, he is. He tearing. He tearing that inside zone apart. Bottom of the ace, 0 oh and 2. Two outs. Got him swinging. Got him swinging. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my, they on fire right now, man. This is crazy. He was doing some nastiness. We go on a commercial break. When we come back from commercial break, top of the ninth for the Phillies. Phillies are up 0 2 over the Padres. 0 2 over the Padres. The Padres. I'm sorry, the Phillies will have. Oh, the Phillies will have up. Two, three, and four. Reese Hoskins, 0 for 3 with a K. JT Real Muto, 0 for 3 with a K. And Bryce Harper, 1 for 3 with a home run. So, two, three, and four for the Phillies when we come back from commercial break. Hey Alberto, did you get back in the states already? I know last time we talked, you was uh, you was out the country. You back in the states yet? Okay, nice, nice, nice. So you got back in time to watch the uh the Eagles Cowboys game, I'm assuming. You had to be here to, to, to feel the energy in the city, man. The, the city was buzzing that day. Especially with the Phillies getting into the NLCS. You know, Cowboys coming in, the 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 energy in the city was definitely crazy this weekend. Nice, man. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, it was lit. It was definitely crazy, man. It ain't been like that in Philly in a long, long time, man. I'm not no big Flyer fan and nothing. I'll, I'll support when I can. But, um... Everybody in the, uh, as far as all the sports teams, they're already doing anything right now. At 3.30 Eastern, 12.30 Pacific, and then at 7.30 Eastern, game one of the ALCS between the Astros and the Yankees on TBS. Luis Garcia comes on to pitch, 2-3-4 and four for the Phillies in the ninth. To pitch, 100 miles an hour fastball, 0-1. Luis Garcia, 
on the mound for the Padres. And has been on a journey since. Padres are his fifth different team over the last five years. 35-year-old having a nice season. Home with an 0-1 pitch. And ahead 0-2. Off-speed pitch over the plate, 0-2. Yeah, dude, definitely, man. Definitely a great time to be a Phillies fan. A Philadelphia sports fan. Against his slider. I know the Sixers did lose today, though, to the Celtics. And a fastball. Damn, pop up, man, to the pitcher. One out. Yeah, I was a little upset that the Sixers game and the Phillies game at the same time, but it is what it is. Playoff baseball take priority. After this catch. We got to give it its due. It's a pitcher taking charge, making a catch. I mean, what's easier, pitcher doing that or catcher over the shoulder? I mean, that's an impressive display of all things good right there. Pitcher coming off the mound to catch it. Now a quick word from Evan Williams Bourbon. Postseason calls for award-winning bourbon. Evan Williams, 1783 Small Batch. Rio Muto. Brown is short. Damn. Two outs. Oh, this 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 shortstop for the for the for the Padres, Kim. Yo, he is nice, man. And he's solid. He got an arm on him too. He averages 87 miles per hour on his throws from short. That's the best arm of any shortstop in baseball. Sheesh. That dude is a damn flamethrower at shortstop. I know he was talking about when Fernando Tatis come back, they're probably going to move him to center field. That's how good this guy Kim been playing. Let's go, Bryce. Let's get one more on the plate. Get one more on the board. Ah, good pitch. For the Padres in the bottom of the ninth, nine one and two coming up, and Jose Alvarado is going to be the choice. Jose Alvarado is going to be the closer yes. for us. Top of the ninth. I'm sorry, the bottom of the ninth. Jose Alvarado. Looking for the save. Foul ball. O two. A guy that right-handed throws a hundred occasionally to the guy who throws the most. 100 mile an hour fastballs to baseball. It's amazing. Who doesn't these days? Everybody coming out of those pens throwing gas. Two outs. All right, 0 2 pitch. Outside. One and two. Offense that has scored in one of its last 20 innings. Try to beat the buzzer here in game one. A one, two. Harper flips it to right. There's a uh, pop up to right. Yeah. The All right, one, two, three, in it for the Padres. We are going to hopefully the last commercial break. Bottom of the ninth inning. Phillies are up 2 nothing. Jose Alvarado will be our closer for tonight. So we'll see how he holds up, man. Phillies are up 2 nothing. going to the bottom of the ninth inning. And for the hitters, it'll be nine, one, and two in the lineup for the uh, for the Padres. Nola was 0 for two. Profar 0 for three with a K, and JT Real Muto 0 for two with a walk and two Ks. So hopefully, you know how's the Alvarado can get it to where. Juan Soto is at bat with nobody on. That's our best case scenario for this one. Best case scenario. But Jose Alvarado is going to be finishing off for us. Bottom of the ninth. Once we come back from commercial break. Thank you. 
All right, Alberto, man. I'll be on tomorrow for game two at 4 30. So hopefully you can slide through, man. But I see you then, man. For the rest of your night. that going on Here we go Phillies with home runs from Bryce Harper and Kyle Schwarber seven scoreless innings from Zach Wheeler tonight some uh, hoop stars former hoop stars in the building tonight Ralph Sampson oh right man GMA. Paul George over there too current star Paul George and Bill Walton the San Diego native taking this game in Two for the tie, three for the win for these Padres. And this place is revved up trying to will. Let's go, Jose. As Jose Alvarado, the hard throwing lefty, comes on for the bottom of the nine. Well, some teams have that kind of flavor for this, and it seems like the Padres have learned how to kind of hang in these games and then find a way to explode and make this crowd go crazy. And of course, Alvarado wants to early on. Set the tone by throwing strikes. Again, he can lose the strike zone. He did not do it against the Braves, and the Phillies are hoping he doesn't do it here tonight. Well, the Phillies have no set closer. So Dominguez handles the eighth. Alvarado here for the nine. A guy that is in his second season in Philadelphia, and it was so bad early on that he was sent to Triple A. Spent three weeks in Triple A. Since coming back, he's got a 166 ERA. And he went into the manager's office the day they clinched, and he said, look, I want to pitch every day. Seven postseason game for the Phils. Sixth appearance for Jose Alvarado. Nice. Oh, one. Nice. And you know what that tells me is he's more connected pitching more often because now he's connected to the strike zone. And when the ball comes out of his hand, it really looks like a golf ball. And it just disappears because it has movement and velocity. After Nola, top of the order in Profar. One ball, one strike. That's high. Andres led the one and one. league this year. 12 walk-off wins. Are we going to see the brother matchup tomorrow? Oh, yeah. Buckle up, buddy. Aaron and Austin. Nice. Aaron Nola starting tomorrow Here's for us. One. Pop foul. Foul ball. One and, one and two. two. Game two of the championship series. He's started by Aaron Nola, who's been fantastic for the Phillies, part of their great rotation. And his brother, Austin, they've seen each other a couple times. They're tied at one. Aaron struck him out the first time. Austin had the game-winning hit against Aaron in a one nothing win earlier this year. Tiebreaker in the championship series. One-two pitch. Nice. Short. Bryson stop. One Let's one. go. One away. Ground is short. Can't say out at first. One away. Able to do since playing shortstop for the Philadelphia Phillies. Of course, D.D. Gregorius was there. And Stott, well documented when he got called up. Overmatch at the plate. And he's really helped solidify that defense for the Phillies, which was a huge question mark coming into the season. He's helped solidify it in short. Getting Arsh in center field has helped. They're able to do things here in the postseason, like we saw earlier, defensive sub in one of the corners. Matt Veerling in for sure. All right, pro far at bat. As best they can. And a tight game here. One so out. Bottom of the ninth. That's high. Well, pro far one has know. one job, and it doesn't matter. Get on base. Gets hit by a pitch, walk, loops <laughs> a hit. He's got to get on base for the boys behind him to bring the tying run to the plate. What he did in the decisive inning in the division series. Ah, that's he low. 2-0. He against Tommy Kane to start that five-run seventh inning. And then they got four consecutive singles. And an inning that they're going to talk about for years here in San Diego. A 2-0. All right, that's low. Come on, Jose. We do not need this man on base. 
almost guiding a couple after he went ball one, just trying to place it in that strike zone. And he's got to be a, he's got to let it eat in the strike zone is where he's been successful. That's Three right. One. Okay. Three one. That was his best pitch at 100 miles an hour because he knew, you know, automatic take, throw it down the middle, see if it can hit his way on. Definitely don't want to walk him. On a 3 1 pitch. Profile one. Damn, man. And Juan Soto comes to the plate representing the top. My God, man. You can't walk him, Jose. Damn. Oh, uh, we're not walking this ball either. And Juan Soto, one of the greatest young hitters the game has ever seen. It's been a rocky couple months in San Diego. Had his biggest hit the last time he came up in a big spot. He tied the game against the Dodgers on Saturday night. He's got a chance to do the same here in game one of the championship series. He likes to see pitches and not afraid to hit, hit deep in the count. All right, so one out. Time where he's we walk pro far. There go Juan Soto at the at bat. He's the tie and run at the plate. Let's, let me see something, Jose. Let me see something, Jose. Come on, Jose. Come on, Jose. Don't blow this one. Round out. Double play. Oh, he blew it. Damn me, Bowie! Come on, Scott. Because of the shift, that's why that was a tough play. You're asking Bohm to hit a shortstop that's not supposed to be there, but because they have to shift, watch what he's doing. See the first move by Scott. It's the it's wrong the move by Scott, man. He blew it. Go to the bag, and he wasn't in position to handle that throw. Leading him. Come on. You had it, Scott. Damn, you blew it. The one towards third base. And because that's an awkward position for the shortstop to turn the double play, a little bit of chaos here. Oh, my God, man. Manny Machado at bat. Runners on first and second. One out. Perfect double play. Perfect double play. The tying run is now aboard. Machado represents the winning run. I mean, this is the Padres' year in a nutshell. It, it has been close games, close games. And lift the roof off of the stadium if they're able to win this game here in the night. Oh my god, man, a ball. One and oh. It's 17 go ahead home runs this season. That was third of the major leagues. That's all right. Good strike. Good pitch. Good pitch. The outfield playing as deep as they can. They want to cut off any double because Soto can run it first. Playing deep, anything that's not hit firm is going to fall in. But they're trying to protect against that second run. They don't really care about that first run at second base. Off the end of the bat to right. Castellanos Pop up. There. Pop up the right. Two nice. In the ninth inning. As Alvarado gets Two outs. Two outs. A momentary sigh of relief for the Phillies and their fans. Not out of the woods yet as Josh Bell comes up. Now the Padres had two base runners over the first eight innings of this game. They've got two here in the ninth. The walk for Profar. Soto reaches on an air. Now the Phillies only have... Three hits in this game. Two of them, though, left the yard. 
They lead 2 nothing with two gone in game one. All right, let's go. Nice. Oh, he must be a switch hitter. Yeah, Bell must be a switch hitter. He is a switch hitter. Okay. All on one, two outs, runners on first and second. He has 17 of them, over 95 miles an hour hit for home runs. Inside. One and one. Seven scoreless for Wheeler tonight. They'll make the decision to hand it to the bullpen. Dominguez is scoreless eighth. Alvarado pitching with traffic in the ninth. On one, one and one. Josh Bell. Nice. Got him swinging. Got him swinging with something low. One and two. Two outs. Time on the board. Winning run at the plate. Two gone ninth inning. One two pitch. Nice. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Damn. Get him out of here. And on a pair of solo home runs, Harper and Schwarber. Man, that was too close. Scoreless from Zach Wheeler. It's a 2-0 win for Philadelphia. Yeah, tight game. I think a lot of them are going to be tight and way to come back if you're Alvarado after walking the ninth and uh, walking the lead Oh, my goodness, to get man. To Soto, and then the play behind him didn't get made. It says a lot of his ability. Oh, my goodness, man. We did it. We did it. We did it. We did it. Phillies pull off the W. Phillies pull off the W. Final score. Two nothing. Philly is over the Dodgers, man. That was too close for comfort, man. Jose Alvarado pulled it out for us, man. Pitching was outstanding today. Bats really didn't get going, but you Darvish made two mistakes. It, it turned into two runs for us. I mean, what more can you say? We up one zero, so you know we got home field advantage now. So don't let this go back to Philly two zero. They they asking for trouble. So, uh, hey, man, I appreciate y'all hanging out with me today, man. Nice, exciting game. Nice, you know, this nice, solid game all around for the Phillies. That little error, you know, with the, uh, with the, uh, with, with Scott at second base, man, we got to clean that SHIT up, you know, because you don't need the, that type of stuff moving forward. But, hey, man, we got the W. Phillies win 2 nothing over the Padres. Game two is tomorrow at 4.30. I will be on streaming live with you guys, you know, live commentary and reaction. So see y'all tomorrow. Have a good night, man. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Good night.